<sighs> I mean, they probably think this is uh, Rumble Top, right? Welcome, bros. Piggy boss. Welcome, brothers. It's 5 a.m. Oh, Scion matchup, eh? Finally, we get it. I've been wanting to play this matchup because people keep telling me Hearthstone Russia is better. No, Warmox Russia is better. I hope this Scion rushes Warmox or Hearthstone. I mean, it's probably gonna go Sunfire, but still, I'll showcase why this is so much better. Do you only play top lane right now? Yes, but starting next month, I am going to play another role. And it will be up to you guys to decide which role I'll play, so... Oh, I heard myself. I mean, skip this shit song. Mundo is strong, yes he is. Yo, Lozo, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. I miss you this weekend, I'm sorry bro. Yesterday, I mean, I always have my... Um... What's it called? I always have my Saturday as an off day, right? And on Friday, I visited my grandma. And then, uh, so yeah, I took uh, the days off. <clears throat> Yo, El Toro, good to see you, brother. Yo, Kulusia, welcome, welcome. Warm nation, thank you for the prime, brother. Today, we talk to the most calculating and one of the most consistent. Hello, first, I'm watching a live stream. As an aspiring Mundo Mayor, huh. are worth their weight in gold. Okay. Now watch the stream while it's read it, eh? Where is Garen Educational Video? Bro, there's like a 50 million of those on my <clears throat> on my YouTube. You can check it out. Alright, so let's see what we're gonna be dealing with. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We need a Yon or Yasuo mid lane. Alright, bro. Alright, so you're on the wind shitters. Go watch uh, Mr. Zukil. At what point do you think Mundo can match Darius in lane? It's usually once you have gotten him poked down a little bit and you have your passive up, so you can't really proc his. Alright guys, so, back to fuel, fuel, full educational whilst we're in game, I'm gonna be yapping about everything. And so, can he hit a skill on this account? I can't look at the base Mundo skin. Actually, so many people have said it. I'll consider it. I'll give it a, I'll give it a fat consideration. Thank you so much, whipping boy. Alright. Now. Let's go back into full location. So first thing you should always do when loading into the game is checking your matchup. Isolate 1v1. We're playing against the sign. For some reason he's playing PTA Resolve. I'm assuming he is going to be, of course, playing for Demolish. But, I mean, he must have entered this runes. PTA sign does not work. And then they have a Velvet jungle. I have a Hecarim jungle. Right? Velvet is much stronger in terms of the early game 2v2 than a Hecarim would be. Uh, Sion and Mundo, we are kind of both weak in the early game, but Sion can contest me better because he has more range. Mundo is really, really, really weak in the early game. Sion is a little bit stronger, but if this Mundo or if the Sion doesn't know that he's a bit stronger, I could still perhaps look for priority because whenever I get my, uh, like if I get priority, that means I'll get my level of times faster, and that means I can decide to crash, and it's still beneficial. In the general sense, though, I would say that I want to avoid any early game two v twos because Belvedere's against Hecarim, and other than that, we're chilling. KO live, they were T1, brother. Right, no so I go either Q start to poke or E start because when I get my E. Okay, Hello. we see here, Belvet, she's pathing bot into top, and Hacker is pathing top into bot. Very important. So, right now, we are what I say is weak side. Weak side meaning enemy jungle coming into top, my jungle coming into bot. I don't see sign, he could be in this bush chasing me. And so, what I do is start E so I can look for priority because when I last it like that, you see, I can hit the means as well. And so Cyan hasn't hit the wave at all yet, and I don't need to get priority to look to kill him or to play aggressive. I'm getting priority so I can just farm, because my champion is so disgustingly weak in the early game. But now I have priority, boom, I can look for a grass proc, because now I have what is considered dead time, I don't have to last it, and he has to walk up for last right? And so now I get my level 2 timer, so even though I'm one of the weakest early game champions, simply because I got priority, I'm able to get trade opportunities here. And this is the yeah, sign misplaying by not contesting the priority. If he has Q, right, it deals damage to me, he can AoE the minions, much more impressive, but he didn't play for it. Ich bin der Wasserspender, thank you for the prime, brother. And so now I've gotten half his HP and 11 out of 12 CS, simply by looking for priority. Now. You can only do this, of course, if your opponent either misplays, doesn't know that he should be looking for priority, but also here in this game, Sion is a much weaker early game champion, right? If I were to do this against Adarius, I'd be in a world of trouble. Okay, the W was a bit wasted. Oh. 
I gotta get back to uh, feeling a little fresh in the game again. I haven't played League for three days now, actually. I haven't played a single League game for three days. The tournament game was the last game I've played. If you watched there, you're the GOAT. So now, I am gonna start walking backwards. Now, try to figure out for yourself why I let Scion push in here. Remember, Hacker and Path bot, Velvet Path top. So right now, my Hacker is bot side and Velvet is top side. And that means I am weak sided. And that's why it's so important to know where both jungles are pathing in the early game. Because you should play your early game wave states according to the jungler's pathing, not so much your matchup, right? So if you can look... Oh, FF. It's all very important here, right? That's why I let myself get pushed in here. And that's why it was beneficial for me to also get the early game crash. Because right now, I'm not gankable. Because the way he's pushing back into me, I'm not forced to walk up for last hits, right? And so here we're in an amazing position. Just losing a lot of last hits that I shouldn't. Beautiful. Three points in Q, then max E. I'm gonna try... Okay, I tried to get the caster, but I couldn't. Uh, that is gonna hit first, so let's hit that. We're gonna lose that one, and we're gonna lose this one if I don't hit it. And the minion will give it a tap, and what even in CS, I'm very happy with that result. Uh, we see Belbet mid with 20 CS, my hacker is 29, and that means that Belbet has skipped two camps, because every camp in the game gives you 4 CS, so Hacker has done 7, and Belbet has only done 5, and I'm not sure entirely as to why. Now I'm gonna hit my potion, so I can stay a little bit more healthy. And my goal would be to slow push this wave that I'm currently uh, uh, hitting, and then hard push this wave so I can set up my reset. And if I'm setting up my reset, the wave will bounce back into me again, I'm not forced to walk up for last hits, and we're in a good position. So, you see here, I haven't looked for any trades with the Scion per se, I've just been playing around my wave states in Fuanimanos, knowing that I will scale to this game. Now I trade, but it's not really to kill him, it's more to crash the wave. I might be dead though. I'm gonna have to ghost here. You can flush kill me. The reason I want Aloys to say is because okay, he's and people take Ah, I don't know how to pronounce that, but thank you for the private brother. This wave right here is gonna give me level 6 exactly, but this wave will also grant him level 6. He is flush, he is PTA, he is WQ. He's just stronger than me, so I'm gonna look to set up my reset. Hop back at the XP. Unlucky. All good though, we're in a good spot. And now it's time to scale. I could have made this purge different, I think. Dobby Ruby. Rejuvenating beat and then a potion was better, but it's okay. So we've lost one melee mean here worth of XP. Side apparently did as well because he didn't get his level 6. We saw him recalling here. I'm gonna make this way push into me. Cancel space. I got the grass broke. We heard the Q as well. There we go. So the way he's pushing into me, he's forced to reset. So whilst the way he's pushing into me, it's beneficial for me to try and cancel space. He gets level 6 here from one melee mean. I know that. But so do I. This one and the caster will grab me my level 6 right here. Oh, he's doing good dev strategies. Uh, surely not, right? Okay, I'm so sorry for existing. What? Oh, I disconnected for a second. My mouse legit disconnected. That was weird. Okay, well, I have an issue because right now, what I'm thinking about is how do I set up my next reset? Silas is gonna come back with a teleport, he's gonna be full HP, he's gonna have items. I don't have ult, I don't have ghost, I have nothing, and I'm half HP. So it's pretty hard to set up my future reset here, right? Because he's gonna be back. And so now I gotta figure out how to set up my next reset. Generally speaking, you never want to reset whilst the wave is pushing towards your opponents because you're gonna lose out on a lot of last hits. So you want to reset after you've crashed the wave into a turret, but it's very hard for me to do so right now. So I'm gonna have to try and find out a different method to set up my reset here. And basically cut my losses. Take a reset that doesn't cost me too much. So for example, after he crashes the wave, I can maybe reset right now. Next wave is going to be a cannon wave. Hecarim is top side, so this is a good opportunity for me to recall. Now, Sion could hard push this and get a plate, but then at maximum, I lose a few means. Sion went into river, so this is a perfect opportunity for me to set up my reset. I go double rule. I won't go full HP because then I'll lose more means. And yeah, like I said, my team going into top side actually distracts the Sion, so here we get a perfect reset. The elo of this game is around Emerald MMR. I mean, Hecarim has no flash, no ult, so he's a dead piggy. I'll I mean, he was out, he went back in. Unlucky. I still firmly believe that me resetting here is always better. Uh, Sign dying now is crazy good for me, because now I can basically get two plates, we got three grubs, so... I mean, whatever my team did here for me was insane. Not only did Sion basically walk into the river and didn't push the wave, so I lost nothing. He also died, so I get tempered to two plates right now. So, 
Now I'm just in such a privileged position. I already had solo kill them. I'm at CS, I get two plates, and I already outskilled, so... I mean, this game is uh, locked in now. And again, all you've seen me do throughout this game is play for my reset timers, right? That is simply the most important thing. I'm still so new to this 26 inch monitor I, I like it's hard to get used to it it really is hard to go from 24 inch to 26 inch i'm gonna look for grass box now whenever i can so when i miss that cue it's obviously my monitor not me i mean now we are just stronger right we're level up we have better items and now i can start playing aggressive okay i will perpetually push in this wave simply to keep priority keep pressuring him look for more plates 1.4k is what we need and then we're gonna be brainless uh, just hitting his turrets without him having any counterplay. Two centimeters is a lot. Alright, bro. Chat, that's not what I was talking about, man. Like. Whatever, man. I knew it was coming too. I'm right, gonna Q, auto E, and W proc actually kills him. I did not expect to have lethal range there. Another grass proc. I don't mind if I do. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, I actually would have died if I didn't ult. That was too greedy. Okay, we hard push this. We don't stay for another plate. Because Cyan is going to be coming back. Most important thing against Cyan players. Never give them tempo. So if I stayed for this plate here, right? It would cost me 10 seconds, 50 seconds to get the plate. Then I have to walk away and reset. That gives Cyan time enough to get back. And then he would have enough time to push this wave and get into a proxy position. However, if I instantly recall and walk back, you see here, I'm going to be in time to stop the Cyan from proxying. And if he tries to proxy now, he's going to lose all of his HP for it. So whenever you play against Cyan, so many people ask me, right? How do I stop Cyan? from proxying you have to do something in advance to him proxying because once he's proxying you're already too late how do you prevent it play well with tempo and so now he never gets to pre uh, you see he can't proxy he would die and that's why it's so awkward for him now and this is why i instantly reset and don't look for plates right you see he wants to go proxy but he can't i wait but there you go guys perfect example on how to stop people from proxying uh, i lost hp he lost have hp but don't worry give me a second uh i'm just gonna heal back to full hp real quick problem sion yeah and uh yeah this is why mundo is absolutely brain dead and so now we trade it again and uh, i'm just gonna give myself a second here and heal back to full hp Now, I don't need to kill him here, but if I kill him, the turret is gone as well. I hit these. I wait. Oh, good. I will hit the next one. Oh, wait. I just killed myself. All I had to do was wait for my ult, play for the plates, don't be a greedy piggy that only plays for kills, but I had kill mentality, I got punished. Do you love Piggy, Alois? I don't eat pork, brother. But do I love Piggies? Yes, I love everybody in Twitch chat. Yes, I do. It's alright. At least we have a Zeloport instantly when we come back. So, I mean, that's lucky. Uh, he is gonna have ult here, so he is gonna proxy, but... I want this wave so I can play for plates. He has no mana, so he cannot ult. Bomba. I want to try and keep some minions alive, but I might not be able to. No. That wave is a goner. Yeah, because I die, he gets tempo to proxy, right? Because he got the wave into my turret. So this is the first wave he was able to proxy. But it was my mistake. But yeah, if you give Cyan tempo, they will proxy. Same for Singe, same for like, Trindamere, stuff like this. Sir, is mid or top better to climb out of low elo? I would say top lane. The reason being, that if you are better than your top lane opponent, you're gonna be able to snowball much higher. Now, I think the higher elo you go, top laner is harder to carry, but the lower elo you go, Top player is better to carry. Alright, we have six grubs, which is crazy on Dr. Shmundo. Doesn't matter, I have passive. We're just gonna take this shit under his nose. He's building magic resist. Does he know I built AD? In fact, I have 182 AD. A lot of people don't know this. I mean, yes, Mundo Q uses magic damage. But most of my damage is actually physical. And I'm just gonna hit this minion. Clear the wave. I took half his HP. He took half of mine. But here is where the brainless easy parts come into play. I will heal back to full HP. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, mama. I don't think they know how much idea I have, right? 
I'm gonna wait till my old. Oh, that's three people. I mean, we're still vibing. We are still vibing. Who's that? Malzar. Oh, wait, he actually debauched me. Oh, but. And uh, yeah, guys, we're at uh, 1 HP right now. Oh, wait. He's cheating. He's cheating. I wanted to heal back to full spirit with Warlord. That, I was, that is what I was going to say, but Braum is too good. Braum is too good. I mean, my jungler is really 1v9 in this game. He has so much farm and he's taking all... He has more farm than I do. Crazy. I just climbed from Bronze 3 to Silver 4 using Mundo. Based. Based. Why do you... Level 3 to uh, Q to level 3 and then max E. Why would you not finish Q? Because you get 3 points of Q to kind of have some presence with it, some damage. It's good damage. And then you want as many points in your E because it gives you flat AD. First time watching your stream, be following your vids for a while. Help me climb from Diamond to Grandmaster in 3 weeks as an OTP Aatrox. I have not made Aatrox content for a very long time. I saw 420. But I put a smile on my face to read, brother. Well done. Uh, I can one-shot means now, like that. <laughs> Because I have 215 AD, my Hecarim has 224 AD, but I have built only HP, and he's built only AD. That's Mundo, baby. So now, I will have my HP, he lost a little bit more of his, we walk away, we heal back to full. Brainless or brainless, guys? <laughs> look! Look! <laughs> They're just not happy! Yeah, I mean, how else do I, like, what is the counterplay? I don't know- wait, is he talking to me or what? Or talking to himself? I mean, I would get tilted as well playing into this. Especially if I'm a Scion. If I'm playing into Mundo and I'm not playing something that has true damage or percentage health damage, I'm dodging. Hello, Mr. Commander Piggy. Thank you for the YouTube content. Now, that's crazy. First time messages calling me Commander Piggy, you already know. They're the goats. Okay, wait, they got a triple kill. All good though. Guys, at this point in the game, I am never looking for kills, right? I am playing for turrets, side waves, jungle camps. I mean, side waves, turrets, jungle camps, in that order, right? But I have six drops this game, so I can pretty much one shot turrets because I have AD from building HP, and from HP, you d your demolish deals more damage. So HP is so incredibly gold efficient on Mundo. Now, before Rumble responds, I'm gonna say ping bot, right? And I'm gonna say. Me bot for tier 2. I know Rumble wants to walk book tier. No, 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 please. Let me. Go top. Now, if he doesn't listen, you have to take matters into your own hands. Be careful, though. Some people might flip. But now I have tempo. Well, then don't TP there. What? I said, I said me bot for tier 2. I got to. I got to. 700 gold for tier 2 turrets, guys. I'm the best at pushing them. This guy can't do anything against me. If I land Q, watch this, okay? I've only built HP. Only built HP, right? Watch this. Balanced? Balanced. So, uh... I even missed all my shit, by the way. Uh, and I still killed him by right-clicking. And all I've done is, uh... Farm? Oh, oh, true, true. And I was getting started. Back to full HP while I was it. Yo, my goat. So yes, guys, if you want to climb, please play Mundo. I, I, I firmly believe this strategy will get nerfed because I don't think Warmox Rush is healthy for both melee supports and for champions like Mundo. I don't know any other top laner that gets to rush Warmox and have so much efficiency. Because again, the more health I have, the more AD I get. The more health I have, the more I do damage from... Uh, grass frogs. Oh, they're, they're like talking to each other or what? This guy's just talking to himself. Or is he... Is it this guy talking? I don't even know. Jinx is 3 and 1, doesn't matter much though. Oh my days, I can't land. It's because of the 26 inch monitor. 
Yes, a lot of supports aren't able to rush war monks speak. Oh, mama, I don't have ult. Watch my damage on this guy, though. <laughs> He's like... Run. I want my heart still broke, and I'll, I'll leave you alone. Give me my heart still, and I'll leave you alone. It's feeling dank. That velvet was like... Remember, I've only built HP. Once I get this now, I'm having the spare, I will have armor, which is actually better against them, and nobody will hit me anymore. Like, I, I would genuinely heal from them hitting me. So, Rombo's still complaining about my teleport, but it was correct. And like I said, guys, I am not playing for any kills, right? I am playing for side waves into turrets. If there's no turrets, I play for... You pig. If there's no turrets, I'll play for drone camps, and that's how I just expect my lead. Jason, take your prime. Alright, let's get on in the spare, and I'll show you how funny the champion can really be on three items. Nah, bro. We don't have to. I got destroyed in the Jax matchup. Yes, you need to learn to play. I mean, it's hard to proc. Also, your Q deals damage based on the max health of your opponent. So when they're full HP, that's why my Q did 600 damage there. Alright, Grass Eater. Goodbye. Run. Alright, now we have our item. And then for the last item, we're gonna go for uh, Spirit Visage. And then we can go Titanic Hydra, because I believe it's more consistent. You get to do Machine Gun Mundo. And then we go Warden's Blood Mill for Warmox later. Yo, Rangers, good to see you, brother. Hope you had an amazing stream towards the end. I, was, I stayed for like 30 minutes, and then I went to do my... Uh, my... Shit, and just uh, grab some food and stuff. Alright, I mean, if I'm a homie, I wait till minute 20, so now I gotta consider my morals. Am I a homie or am I selfish? I'm a homie. <laughs> I want my game again, Challenger on next cycle. Let's go, bro. Honestly, Sion is the worst champion in the game. I do believe he is extremely weak right now, yes. I mean, I actually didn't get to showcase how strong Unending Despair would make me. I believe that's one of the best items. I got the inspiration from the uh, Korean... Uh, what's his name? Korean's... Um, Mundo 1 trick. There is actually a Korean Mundo 1 trick around Grandmaster Challenger. And he did Heart Steel into Unending Despair every game. Uh, Warmox is insane. But then you go Warmox, Heart Steel, Unending Despair and you're the unkillable little man. I'm convinced Mundo is super broken. He is. And I believe people have been sleeping on him for a very long time. Now, I've been playing Mundo for the past six months, right? I've made a lot of Mundo content, like, even on my main account. The two champions that I had going into Korea were Mundo and Riven. Those were my two most played. I've been the uh, two most played. I've been a big fan of Mundo for a while now. But only when I started this, I was like, hmm, I'll try Warmox Rush because people had been mentioning it to me. And then when, that's like when everything clicked for me, because your goal as Mundo is not really to win lane, but you want to get like plates and get gold inflated. When you have, so if, if you compare hearts to you, yo Nate, thank you for the fight brother, good to see you boss man. Holy uh, moly. I'm gonna quickly finish this sentence. So when you compare heart steel rush to warmox rush, heart steel rush gives you more damage on an initial trait. And, and so you have more damage, right? That's kind of the, the added benefit. And you can then instantly go into other items as well, like you're on in despair. But the problem that you have is Mundo is you have very little sustain in lane. So if I were to, let's say, right now, this example, right? I'm playing Mundo into Cyan. I have Heart Steel. And I trade half my HP with him for half of mine HP, right? That's what we probably do in an equal health trade, something like this. And then I get one Heart Steel proc, which is nice. But if I have Warmox and he has Heart Steel, we will trade equal HP with each other, I lose half my HP, he loses half his HP, he gets a heart to stack, fair, I walk away, I come back full HP, he still have HP, I get pressure in lane throughout the rest of the laning phase, and I'm able to get plates, and I'm able to start snowballing. And that's why Warmox Rush is brain dead and broken. Yeah, no good Luis, thank you for the prime. Louise. Thank you again, Nate, for the that fight, brother. <clears throat> Give some advice when you're okay on top, but your bot slash mid are inting and my more morale gets lower and lower. Just some tips how to get past such negativity or try to win. I mean, this is gonna be different for every person, right? I just think your mentality going into the game should be to have a responsible mindset, meaning that you're just very focused on your own performance and try to f see your own flaws. Uh, and the way that I perceive the game in general, 
give or take, right? This is not always going to be consistent, but 20% of the games are automatically lost. Nothing you can do about it. 20% of the games are automatically won. So there's that as well. And then I would say 60% of games, you have a very big deciding hello, factor hello, if you win or lose. Thank you, John came for the tier one. So focus on the 80%, right? 20% auto win, 60% you can have a good influence instead of the 20% where everything goes shit. <clears throat> that would be my biggest advice. So, so does Hi Aloy's first time catching a stream. I'm a Garen player with Gwen as my secondary, but I'm picking up Mundo now to expand my pool. Amazing. All right. Have you done on rank to master with Set? I have not, and that is also going to be one of the champions next onto my list because I see Set is played in extreme high amount right now. This matchup is definitely hard, right? Uh, I'll talk about the matchup when we go into the game, but I want to play Set before I move on to another role. I'm thinking of Urgot, maybe Trindemir, and then one more Riven, and then I, I like, uh, I want to go to another role. So, uh, I've said this before, I'm going to Spain on July 22nd. Um, so yeah, on July 22nd, I'll go to Spain. I'll be there for eight days. So, uh, August, start of August, I am back. I want to do a giant subathon, and then I'll put a goal to play either mid lane or AD carry for a month and full educational content there. So there is a... You'd get corporate mono skin? Remind me after this game I can get a skin. Although I, I really hate doing purchases whilst I'm live on stream. I just like don't feel comfortable. Would set be number two best gem to rush warmongs? I haven't tried it so I can't I can't tell you. What happened with Trundle you started once? I did it at the end of the season and then uh I decided to not upload it because it was completely at the end of the season when I did it. Everything was going to change. And so it would literally be outdated the next day. So it was kind of weird for me to upload that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Do I think Ajox is a OTP, good OTP champ? He's alright. I don't think he is like... That good for solo queue because it's hard to ca full carry with him, but he's all right. Yes What is the best mundo item path war mocks hearts to you and then either um, For armor unling the spare for magic is spirit visage and the end titanic hydra and then you're done. Crystal Ford, those items are good, just different order. Okay, now let's talk about the game, okay? So, we're playing an extremely tricky matchup here. We're playing as Trenimir, one of the most... He is also extremely strong right now, and he also plays in a kind of brain net fashion where this champion, his kit is extremely simplistic, he eats it and wants to right-click you, and then all he does is basically try to out-sustain you. So I'm gonna mute the music here. So, when you face a champion like this, right, that is his intention to try and out-sustain you with his Q, with his fleet, he Probably run second win as well, I can't guarantee that, but he has a shit ton of sustain, whereas I have none until I have Warmock. So, my intention in this matchup is not to fight him, not level 1, and not whenever, throughout the laning phase, until I have Warmocks. The main reason for this is because he beats me in small trades, because he outsustains, and he beats me in extended fights, because he has more damage, and he has crit chance. So, level 1, Chinemar is actually pretty strong, um, also because I could never kill him, he deals a lot more damage. So from the level 1, heading into this landing phase, I am genuinely not looking for a single trade, because again, he beats me in small trades, he beats me in extended fights, zero intention for me to ever look to trade. Additionally, they have a Sin Zhao and I have a Viego. Now both junglers are pretty good gank heavy junglers, but I would say that Sin Zhao is a bit stronger than Viego in early game skirmishes, plus they have the stronger top lane. So the only thing I'm gonna do throughout this game is play trade avoidant, Try to stay even in CS so I can scale. Staying even would be winning for me. And then always make sure that I'm healthy enough to play out the bounces. Whenever the wave is pushing it to me, I'm not forced to walk up for assets. Whenever the wave is pushing back into him, that's when I'm forced to walk up for assets. That's when I'm vulnerable and I gotta make sure that I'm healthy enough for that. Okay, so he's playing with D-Blade. What he should do, from his perspective right now, is actually try to zone me from these three means worth of XP. Because he could force fights into me level 1. But he's not doing so, which is... Happy days for me. And I've can't. I have. I have. I, 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 I hate my life. I need music back on. Let's go. Two out of three, I'll take it. And like I said, I'm not trading, bro. I'm like a. I'm a full NPC looking, waiting for side quest. 
And the side quest is play you got the bounces after it crash into my turret. The Not too shabby. Now, what I'll do is put my ward down right here, because uh, that way I'm able to see if after crashing the wave, he's going to recall or not. So that ward is just like, uh, basically a preemptive ward to see what his intentions are going to be after crashing this wave into my turret. Now, he's playing with the wave here, he had used his E, so I'm allowed to walk up for that. I don't ever want to gank here, so I'd also gank my... I'd ping my jungler away if he'd go for the, for the gank here. I believe this survives the turret shot. Okay, so he's gonna roam. Since Zhao has spat into top and notices that his entire top side is gone now. But Trinimer could invade my Viego, so I have to be careful for that. That's why I'm pinging. And like I said, guys, I'm not looking for trades. I have aids. Yeah, I could have done better on that regard. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't help him here, right? Trinimer has priority. He should know that. I pinged him. Looks like Trinimer took the blue buff. So he's 21 CS now because he took the blue buff and he probably gets the rep off here. Very unlucky for me. Now, the one benefit that I have from Trinimer doing this is that I actually get the opportunity to play out this bounce now. So this is pretty bad for me, right? Trinimer gets a kill. Uh, but the one benefit that I do get here is that Trinimer died. And of course, whilst he's dead, he can't stop me from getting in this wave. So I get one free reset here, which is also going to help me in preserving my teleport. So that's good. But ultimately, yeah, here, this uh, outcome still absolutely sucks for me. Viego should have known that Trinimer has priority there. And so after taking the top side, which was a good play, he should have gone to like Golems or, or Grom. And so then maybe since I get this and this, but at least he still gets a net positive trade. But he was too greedy. Uh, no, hope he learns. All right, the wave is bouncing back into me. Again, meaning I'm not forced to walk up for last hit, so I'm in a good spot here. I don't have to teleport. I also hope that this means walking to the turret range. Beautiful. So now the wave is going to bounce back to me faster, which is good, because then more means of his stay alive. All right, EB Abi, that's good to hear, brother. Now, we see Sin Zhao mid, he still hasn't recalled, so that's one thing I always consider whenever I see a jungler on the map, I press tap as a habit to see if they've reset or whatever they're going to be doing, right? So I kind of can anticipate as to what they're gonna do next. He hasn't hit level five yet, so we're actually slightly adding XP here. So that's nice. I'm gonna do the same thing here, put this ward down. See what he's going to be doing after crashing in this wave. And like you see, like I said, guys, you see I'm never walking up here. Why? So that I can play out the bounce, right? You see, I'm, I'm playing completely trade avoided. I haven't hit this Trinimer once yet, and I'm looking to do so either. And we're pretty much even in CS. And that's beautiful. That was my goal. Remember, even is winning. Literally. Now, I've lost 0 XP, so on this wave, I'll actually hit level 6 exactly. If Trimmer isn't here, what I'm gonna do with this wave? Heart push. Answer for yourself now, why am I heart pushing this wave? It is so that it will bounce back into me. Why is that good? I'm not gonna be forced to walk up for last hit. So here, throughout this landing phase, all I've been doing is playing with the wave opportunities, making sure I can play at the bounce. This is the second bounce, I'm able to crash it, the wave will bounce back into me again now, and we're happy. Thank you so much, Haki for the Prime. Should you have other masteries if you don't plan on hitting Trinner? No, this is still absolute... Up I mean, this conditioning should be second win, maybe. But other than that, uh, this is still absolutely optimal. Like, uh, Grasp Inspiration or Resolve Inspiration is simply the best. And that! Uh, well, guys, the wave is pushing back into me. What are we going to do? Not look for a single trait. Make the wave bounce back into me. I'm not forced to walk up for last sets. I stay full HP so I can play out the bounce. Happy days. Would Arcane Comet be better? Now, then you'd have sorcery, right? So, uh, then you'd either... So, if you go sorcery, then what do you take second? You'd go uh, resolve, probably for demolish and overgrowth. But then you lose out on magical footwear approach velocity. I still think those are better. Looks like Trinimer wants to recall, which is completely fine for me. By delaying him here a little bit, though, it's actually really good for me. Why? Because it's going to give me a bigger tempo opportunity to get this bouncing again. And so, you see, guys, here, all I'm doing throughout this entire landing phase is thinking about... How do I get in the next bounce? He's recalling, right? I assume. Okay, he hasn't recalled. But if I hard push this wave, I can base TP. If he engages onto me here now and tries to fight me, that's quite alright because I will hit level 7 here. So I have somewhat of like a stat check 2 to fight back. And now I can base teleport back. The benefit to that is that I have item advantage and now I can actually somewhat fight him. Beautiful. Alright, 1.4k gold, and we are, uh, we are him. 
So now I have pretty high item advantage, I have 2k HP, boy is bouncing back into me again. So you see here, same habits, throughout the entire lighting phase, right? I haven't been able to, haven't had to fight him once yet. And that's also because he of course invaded my jungle level 4, right? But that decision there leads into me being able to basically skill for 3 throughout the entire lighting phase. Now I have two options here, freeze or hard push. Hard push would give me the opportunity to maybe look for a plate, but freezing kind of locks him in lane. And I think that's fine, because the longer he stays in lane, the longer I'm allowed to skill for free. First grasp of right there. Ooh, if I land the Q, I would get a second grass proc. That's okay. He's probably gonna look to set up his reset now, which is absolutely fine with me. Because I have enough time to get in the next bounce. He's recalling here. I landed it. Beautiful. And why is it good to cancel him? Same reason. I have item advantage. As long as he has these items, he has zero kill pressure onto me. And we are farming even. And I'm completely satisfied with that outcome. He does have both summons again. Grassbrook. Keep him at bay. Another Grassbrook. Beautiful. Now I will let him recall. Why do I let him recall now? Because next wave is already here. And so I'm going to be able to hard push this. I don't have to cancel his base. And then and after crashing this, I have two options. You. Recall or save for a plate. Cooking with the fundamentals. Yes. Right on. Okay, he stayed. That's alright. Mm, gotta make sure I don't die here. Now, I could look for a plate, but at the same time it's a little... Okay, since I was bold, I didn't know that now. But it's alright. Trinomir does not have enough time to hard push this and this and get a plate before I'm back. So I'm basically taking this, losing nothing, and now I need one more reset on 400 gold, I reckon. 600. And land, we're gonna be at Watermox. We start winning. Beautiful. So he's gonna hard push this in, but like I said, he doesn't have enough time to also look for a plate, and so I lose nothing. I'm gonna be able to do the same thing to him, which is hard push this wave. Perhaps get a plate, and uh, all we're doing is farming even. Yo, I'm Soju, welcome. Do I get this? I wait. Okay. Well, I kinda did a two for one deal. Lost both. Why is everybody flaming? I think I will do the good old Defn. Alright, beautiful. I cancel one also. Cost me a little, but he doesn't he have a Bork, he's going for Hydra. That one also would have been a plate though. Alright guys, we don't have Warbox yet. So I need to look for a reset pretty much right now, because if I reset, I get my Warbox. And then we're gonna be very strong, but reminder, you generally speaking only want to reset when the wave is pushing back into you. That means I kind of have to crash this wave into his turret in order to set up my reset, which is tricky. The alternative option would be to get a teleport, but I'll have that luxury right now, so we have to set up a reset. And so I hope here, I'll put my potion on, that I can get in this wave as much as possible. Don't stay for the plate, because it would ruin my tempo. I don't know where the Trinomir is at, but I don't care. I got my reset. We're 10 cents per minute, give or take. We get our Warmox, we've been farming even. Now we're gonna be stronger. Now we can finally start playing the game, right? We've gone through, by far, the hardest stages. Now it's time to chill. Because now, all I gotta make sure to do is... I'll, I'll fight the Trinomir, and as long as I don't die, I'll heal back to full. I out sustain the Trinomir. He might be able to snatch a plate here. We've lost one, unfortunate. That's okay. I think they're gonna get six grubs, though. That is pretty scary. Yeah, no, he gets two plates. That sucks. He is getting a fourth grub here, so that means they're already on four grubs. It's okay, though. Some games, you're just not gonna have the better youngler. They have six grubs and the dragunas, and I hate that. Now I can trade like a piggy, though. Because, I mean... How is he gonna... Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have that. Alright. It's alright, though. They can't kill me. I'm a bad bitch. And now we go back to full HP. Very brainless. Very chill. Lovely. I think the trainer wants to set up a recall. I'm not a fan of that. I saw him walk into this bush. That's why we have this ward here. Voice is a very successful player. Thank you for the primer, brother. Voice. We got something in the mid lane, so that's good. Going back to full HP. Got my conditioning. Lovely. 
But like I said, guys, look at my ID. I have 160 ID because of Warmox. I might be able to get his ult out here. Ooh, close. If he didn't Q, he's dead. Now, I lost more than half my HP. He did so too. But look! Warmogus! Hey! Yeah, this is why it's so brain dead, right? So, all you do is play even, play for your reset timers, get Warmogus, and you're being chilly. That's how it goes. I should not have 180 AD, but I do, because health is very good on my champion. And now we're just gonna look for plates. Even though he has six grubs and I have nothing, I'm a poor man. We shouldn't. Because hey, HP also makes your demolish deal more damage. Oh, guys, I lost half my HP again. Oh, no. Wow, guys. Warmogs. This is why it's so brainless. I believe this is extremely um, unhealthy for the game. I don't think this should be a thing. My general opinion. I'll use it, though. You should, too. And then we're hitting the turret again. Right in there, guys. We're playing against arguably one of the best sustaining champions in top lane. Uh, no match for uh, Warmugus, though. And, uh, yeah. One of the most annoying champions to play into. We can still look for a 5 plated laning phase. Because of the power of Warmugus. Like I said, Harshu, sure, Harshu would give me like one proc every now and then, right? But because of Warmox, I'm able to perma push in the wave and still play for plates. And all I gotta do is make sure I never die. Wait. I hit this mean to get my level 11, because I would need it here. Impregnate. And like, as long as you never die, guys, you'll be fine. Because we will make the fool with Warmox. Do I think Warmox gets nerfed? I believe it absolutely should. I think it is very, um, bad design. It's like having a revive in League of Legends. It shouldn't exist, you know? It is so brain dead. <clears throat> you gonna cancel me? I'm fine trading with you, boss man. Good fight. Hey! Oh, he didn't see it coming! He didn't see it coming! Please. That's cringe. Yo, he didn't see... Okay, so... I mean, the combo isn't, like... Mechanically intensive, but what I did is... You can do Q... Auto... Cancel that animation with an E... Slap his face across like... It's like ha having a slipper like this. You do Auto E. One shot. GG. Dead. Make it so you can buy it first and it'll be fine. Exactly. You shouldn't be able to rush this. <coughs> it's it's unfair to have a design like um, this. But it's alright, guys. 1.7, we're gonna be having our hearts too. We have 260D, that's pretty chill. And now we finally get the first turret. Alright. That's why we teleport. I gotta be a little wary here, because I don't have my ult, but my ghost should be enough safety. 1.7 is what we need. Auto E slipper move. If you have Titanic Hydra as well, you can do Machine Gun Mundo. Auto E Titanic Hydra. It's a lovely combo. Auto E is just like having a slipper. Oh, wait, guys, he took half my HP. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. He took half my HP. Very chill. I think I slow push this to allow this wave to walk up as well. This will grant me 200 gold. Then I'll be at 1.5. Then I sell my Durants. And I'll be at 1.7. Then I reset. I go Bolt. And I become Bill Gates. I like it. I like it. Other option is to spit in his face. Disrespect him. And basically... Just hit his turret here. Mama. Okay, I got a ghost. Wow. Oh, it's going down. Go back to full HP real quick. Very chill. What's up, bro? I'm back to full. 
So, the thing is, guys, what I always say about Mundo, why I like to play him so much, is that I scale infinitely, right? I have, well, not infinitely, but I have insane scaling. Mundo is one of the best scaling champions. It doesn't look like it right now, but I'm pretty happy with my position. Sure, they have six grubs, and sure, they have two dragons, and sure, they scale with Brand, Ash, Lulu, Trinimer scaling, but we have Mundo scaling. Now, people are sleeping. People actually don't know how good of a scaling champion Mundo is, but I'll showcase you guys this game. Now we need Unending Despair for armor. Armor against this is this. And then we're gonna become him. Oh. If I get the shutdown, I'll carry. That's very nice. Come here, little piggy. Whee! Oh, Lulu again, huh? Cock blocker. I'm gonna lose my top lane turret now. I think my side is just AFK or is like typing. It would be nice if he actually just plays the game. I'm very certain that my Silas was typing, and because he was typing, we didn't get the kills. He was not AFK. It's alright, we'll heal back to... That's scary. But, now we're gonna go back to full real quick. Yeah, I mean, this Trinimer is having to land against a Silas that's very weak, so I don't want to get... I have this guy get too fed. Trinimer, or... Uh, since I was back on the map again as well, so I have to be wary. That guy's two items, so he's very strong. We did get one shot at least, so that's good. I'll give it to Jinx, I don't want her to be upset. She's actually playing well. I'm gonna undeafen. I wanna go bot uh, better. I mean... I already bot, but just... Def him. I have TP in 20 to defend my tier 2 turret if if in 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 the oh uh, brand you don't want to go <laughs> melee range with the mundo uh and yeah, this is what happens kind of okay should be my kill but i'll take it silas i admit which is extremely bad for me but it's okay i'll get this turret and then i'll tp top to defend my tier 2 turret so it doesn't get it very important because tier 2 turrets grant 700 gold each so i make sure i get the gold and then i will go to top lane Alright, so my teammates are pretty much grief in this game, and it's gonna be a hard one to carry. And mainly my Silas. But it's okay, 2.8k gold, and we are Thanos. I'm not sure if I can get that before the dragon, though. That would kind of be a minimal requirement to be able to contest this dragon. I'm still ahead in level, but if I can get the tier 2 turret here, I'll be strong enough for this dragon fight. Hey Alois, I came for the first time to your streams to express my disappointment for you not having- Okay, whatever. You piggy. See guys, I outskill him. You don't want to fight me, but- Uh, I mean, maybe you do. But then I'll go for you. I'm gonna give him the slipper treatment. <laughs> slipper treatment on his face. Oh, mama. He's gonna get the slipper treatment too, he just doesn't know it yet. I like the skull, we have Heimer. We're back to full HP because of Warmox, which is unfair. Slipper treatment! Level 15, guys. Level 16 is my biggest spike. He got flash. Used. Okay, so they are gonna have three dragons now. And six grubs still. Which is tricky. But it's okay. Please focus, bros. We win. I might skip Spirit's Visages game. No, I won't. I think it's still a really good item to build. Because it empowers my healing... In general, like my old, just my and the spare healing. I'm gonna be level 16 almost. I mean, actually, I want to be top, I guess. I'll go top so I can play for the tier 2. At level 16, they cannot kill me ever. But if I go uh, Titanic Hydra, I can do auto E Titanic Hydra. And uh, then I actually one shot anybody. This guy is hiking, griefing. See, the thing is here. I want to tell Silas to please focus, but if I ask Silas to please focus, it's like telling a woman to not be mad when they're already mad. 
or anybody, not necessarily women. I just was referring to my mom to be fair. If I tell her, calm down, doesn't work. Let's win. Let's win. Level 16, guys. Oh, I need to get my 16. Ash, you're first. Passive, passive, passive! Nine passive, kind passive. We're ready now! We're ready in <laughs> Dude, I still live very long. I still live very long, though. I still live very long, eh? 1v3. 8 and 2. 2 and 2. 2 and 5. Okay, we slept one bitch out of there, but... <clears throat> I gotta be a psychiatrist this game as well. Okay. Staying calm down to your mom will get you the slipper treatment IRL. Yes, I know what you mean. I've experienced it before. Love my mom though. <clears throat> well, I have teleport, but if Brand goes silent, I should run down. Ooh. They are flaming in French. Silence, you deserve happiness. Well, that's very kind by my support. Thank you, bro. Dave in this photo, Dave 51. Yo. Greetings. A boss man. Alright, Trinamorus. You ready for me to one shot your turret real quick? I'm kind of getting tired of this champion. Always being in my face. And he always gets like five man shaft to help him out. You know what? I'm gonna skip the trinamer. I'm just gonna group mid. Group with the bros. Don't die. And I won't be in the game here. I'll kill them all. What's up, bitch? Oh, yeah, Sterex as well. Yeah. Time to if run now, though. Alright, land it. I lost! Emperor Pigatron. Yo! That's me. Woo! Cute princess. Cute princess. Cute princess. Slipper treatment. Oh, he got sucked. Thank you, Vanity Brother. Thank you for the primer. I indeed am Emperor Pigatron. I mean... I'm gonna lose everything because my silence just keeps griefing. The roam was good, but the outcome again isn't. I also don't have ult for this dragon. I actually won't have it. I have it tw like 10 seconds later, 15 seconds later. Well, that's is not good. What did I just do? I'm gonna pink. We gotta defend. Go five. We've got four items now, that means we have 300 AD, because that's fair. With building Hello, guys. only health Hello, and resistances. Zizoi, thank you for the one brother. Plane. Look at my VA go. Less AD than I do. This would be insane, but he doesn't have enough damage. But this is still good. Lulu ult us out and Brand is the recall. He does have teleport though. Bro, size the piece away. <laughs> okay, this guy's just grieving. Uh, this guy's legit just wanting to lose. Kinda sad. This guy is a piggy. Brent's the being bolt, that's why I want to start it. This guy's on flash. Good. I think we back off, it's 45. I hit the Brent. Oh, come on. Come 
Come on! Das ist eins! Eins! Hier, kommen! Piggy! Her! Don't have flash! Bitch! Oh, good though. I'll take it. We got the dragon. We're still in this. We're still in this. Sorry, guys. I got a little passion. I got a little passion. What about? Is Frozen Art good here? No, it doesn't give me HP, bro. I don't really like Frozen Art Mundo. I'd be fine to like, I'd be open to Heart Steel or, or sorry, to like Thorn Mill. I gotta make sure to listen to this with my E, by the way. I gotta focus here. If they steal it, I might not forgive myself. <laughs> that was scary. All right, Titanic Hydra next, so we can slipper face slap Machine Gun Mundo people. It's sorry to play against this Trinimer. I have to always match him first and then group my team, by the way. Big Chaos. He has six grubs. He's a shit on the farm and he's perma split pushing. And if I don't answer him first, the Silas is basically not playing the game. He, he is trying to be everywhere on the map where he basically needs to not be, right? Like he is genuinely doing his best to lose. And so this Trinimer gets free reign because if I go side lane, enemy send five homies and uh, yeah, else Silas just kills him. Tag Riven in game, not Mundo, not my streamer. Welcome, bro. Good to see you, man. All right, let's focus though. What about Overlord's Blood Mail? I'll go Titanic Hydra first, and then I'll sell Warmox for Overlord's Blood Mail at the very end. I think they're all going both side again, by the way. I can't really punish them. I've made sure that this is Baron Empowered, so maybe they think it's safe to go here now. He's going Blade Rune King for this. Okay, please somebody go here. He has Borg. Will he expect my fist in his ass? Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of anticipate that much damage there. Okay, now we finally have uh, pressure on the map because Trinimer's dead, so I can actually do shit. That's a 4 item Trinimer, but no, it's a 3 item Trinimer. Wait, did he just... He sold Hydra to get Borg. What an inter. Okay, that's what he did. 600 damage because he's full HP. Remember, the more HP they have, the more damage I deal. I believe I can just uh, take this Ash down if she wants to, like, mess with me. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna do? Oh, she got sucked again, by the way. Oh, oh, this turret? Oh, oh, uh, goodbye. Uh... I am still full HP, buff my FK champ, this shit is just fair, do you have a problem? Trinimer doesn't exceed coming again, he's not coming, he's not coming! No flash though. And so we won the game 4v6. I mean that was plus one regardless. <sighs> Mundo. Told you, I've said it throughout the start, guys, we're two dragons down, we are six grubs down, they have good scaling champions, but they don't have the same scaling as Mundo. Now, mind you, I haven't built a single damage item this game. If I would have finished Titanic Hydra and then also Overlord's Blood Mill, I would do twice the amount of damage that I was doing, while still being the same amount of tankiness. There is Mundo. Yeah, we'll give... Okay, so, guys, we'll give this Silas an honor, nothing else. Oh, I should've given him tilt proof though. I should've given him tilt proof to put a smile on his face because he's a piggy. But all right, we move on, eh? Spread love, not hate. Holy moly, they were useless. I'm convinced you could use a controller on Mundo and get to diamond. There is definitely a big truth to that. By the way, guys, if Mundo gets banned, I want to try a game of Shyvana top. I saw- wait, I'm going to share the video with you guys. We're going to watch it. Lil Dobby made another banger, and it turns out there is a new Shyvana top build. Every time- every now and then, Shyvana top is, like, playable or, like, somewhat considered strong because she gets a good build again. And I saw this and I was like, this actually looks fun to play. <clears throat> Yeah.
He always plays the same song, but it's vibe. So look at his build, right? It's centered around ability haste with these two. Look at his Q cooldown and his E. Crazy. I'll give this set champion a try when Mundo's banned. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a YouTube video on this regardless. I'm gonna try it out, but if it's not on stream, then I'll do it off stream. Did Silas add me? No idea. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Hello, uh, please don't disappoint me. Hello, a Louise. Little story. I was at the bottom of Iron 4, literally zero AP using gems that couldn't carry, and now I'm slowly starting to climb because I'm capable of pay attention to macro instead of surviving lane phase. Thanks for the Mundo. I'm still learning a lot though, but I've been so much fun. My guy, get out of the Iron 4 bracket and go do what you have to do. Play Watermux Mundo, be a piggy with pride and get him. He linked the video in the chat, I've got you. There you go. <laughs> I'll bet nothing this game. And first pick or early pick. I mean, Shavana is also one of the weakest early game champions, right? Similar to Mundo, but he she also skills extremely well. Is skill good into Mundo? I mean, once you have Boric, yes, but Mundo skills very hard and kind of gets free scaling because of Kale lane. Oh, she can actually fight back. I guess because of the E mark, yeah, your alt attacks do more damage. Don't walk out of the XP range. Yo, Zukil! Thank you for the raid, bro. Welcome! Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you had a good stream, brother. Good to see you. I was lurking a bit earlier. Uh, what was the game? I was watching your game against Mollified. Hope you had a good stream, brother. Uh, welcome, everybody, from Zukil's stream. Uh, I am uh, an educational top lane player, if you don't know me. And currently, I have one mission, and that is everybody that wants to climb in top lane, get them at least introduced to Mundo, because Warmog's Rush Mundo is by far the easiest champion to play in top lane right now. It is very brain dead, but it is also extremely successful, because it is so easy to replicate. So uh, if you want to start climbing on top lane, I highly recommend you stick around, watch me play at least one Mundo game, and I'll explain every step that I do in order to be successful with Mundo. Now, for people that were on my stream, if you guys don't know who Mr. Zukil is, he is arguably the best top laner we have over in EUS that is not a professional player. He plays Yasuo and Yon, absolute goat at them. I mean, he plays some other champions too. Go check out his stream if you're very interested in high elo, wind shitter, and, but again, amazing gameplay. All right, so we're first pick, journey speaking, as a top laner, you want to try and pick as late as possible. Uh, I'll ban Nath, okay, I'll ban Aurelia. Because I rather can build Blade Run King and it's hellish. We try to get last pick. Other than that, let's see. I'm watching the Shavana video in the meantime. Not true. I kind of suck right now. Yeah, you're too humble to kill, but it's okay. Bro, why are they not swapping with me, by the way? The AD carry and jungle. What is your issue? Guys, if you don't swap with your top laner, you're griefing by default, and that's a fact. Alright, Yumi, give me that shit. I also apply. You know what? I'm not gonna argue. Let's watch this video. Well, he's playing Ignite Teleport as well, by the way. I guess Ignite for kill pressure.
How did Yon lose priority into Shavana though? Like the fact that Shavana is level three first in this matchup, I mean, it makes it look really strong, but that should never happen, right? Super normal matchup in the meantime. Uh, so, I already see here that Mundo is going to be disgustingly broken, alright? The only thing that counters Mundo is percentage health damage. Lee Sin is just flat damage, no percentage health damage. Vex, same thing. She's a burst mage, but you can't burst down on Mundo. Fiddlesticks, also not really gonna bother with... I mean, their draft is so horrific against Mundo, in the sense, like, like it's good for me. They're not gonna be able to do anything into me. So, I just explained the draft perspective a little bit. I also think our draft is insane. We have pretty much full AD and then a Karthus jungle. Our mid laner should pick an AD champion here, but I mean, AD champions might be a little hard to vex. But yeah, I mean the 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 draft is looking insanely insanely good for me here. Galio, that works. No, like who in enemy team is going to be able to shut down a Mundo? Nobody, unless they pick like Vayne, Kokmo here as AD carry or something. Lee Sin ult is percentage health damage. Oh, oh, Lee Sin, please don't kick me in my face. <clears throat> well, guys, uh, I am not entirely sure what I'm laying against. I think it's Fiddlesticks top. Now, I've been using conditioning Mundo mainly. I think second win is actually superior. Other than that, my room page stays the same every single game. I go Grass Demolish. A second wind or conditioning, depending on how free your matchup is. Overgrowth, and then magical footwear approach velocity, so you get movement speed towards your opponents whenever you land your Q. Attack speed, double scaling health, double scaling health, overgrowth, de-shoot into warmogs. You will always have warmogs at first item. Listen to stop. I think, I mean, it could be both, right? It could really be both. But the Fiddlesticks ban Darius, and if I'm playing Fiddlesticks top, I would I would ban Darius. So by looking at their bans, yeah, that, that's why I kind of figured it was Fiddlesticks top. Alright, so we're playing around the Emerald MMR. And I'll turn on some music, and we're just gonna do the step plan. The same steps that I would do in a Challenger game to prepare for my game. Alright, we reach the players here. So, first thing I always do loading into the game is just check out my matchup in isolation. I'm playing against a Fiddlesticks top, and he's playing with Electrocute, Sorcery, Flesh Teleport, Probably running Scorch, something like this, so a more poke-oriented setup. Okay, the music is a little too loud for me whilst I'm explaining. Then, they have a Lee Sin jungle, I have a Karthus jungle, right? The intention of Karth is to try and full clear. He wants to permanently farm, doesn't want to gank match. A Lee Sin can kind of do both, but he's a very strong early game skirmisher. Uh, one thing that I always keep in mind as well is the summoners, so my jungler is playing without flash. So if there's ever a river fight in top side and my fiddlestick is moving and or Lee Sin, I know my Karth is pretty much already dead because he cannot really escape. So rivers already pretty annoying or hard for us to contest especially against champions with dashes right um fiddlesticks isn't the strongest lane bully but he has some sustain uh he has a good aoe on ways with his w so my intention in general as mundo regardless of my matchup is if i am falling behind in cs that's okay because it is to be expected of me because i'm amongst the top five weakest early game champions if I go even, I consider that a win, because I outskill almost every champion in the game. And if I'm looking at their draft, if I farm even this game, so just going even would already be a massive W for me. If I am ahead in CS, I, the game is over. Nobody's going to be able to kill me. So going even or slightly going ahead is my only goal here. And I'm just talking about farm. I don't have to solo kill my opponent to become a, mo a monster in this game. It's very hard to solo kill your opponent as Mundo. So we're just looking to go even. And all I'm going to be doing is playing more so trade avoidant, playing around the wave states, so, so I'm making sure that I'm never really going to be ganked, and if I farm even, and I'll skill, I'm going to be able to carry this game very easily. Fiddlesticks will be good into Mundo, Mundo has no CC, doesn't matter bro, he can ult on top of me and try to do the suck thing, and I'll just one shot his face with my slipper. Alright, now one thing we can always do going into the early game is looking for a ward to scout where Amy John is going to be starting. So here, I don't mind this trade that much. I'll go with Q. I get a Grass Proc. I'll dip. And I want to get a ward down on either rep off or the Golems. I'll do the rep off here to see where the Lee Sin is starting. So I know how to play my early wave states around the jungle pathing. There you go. Doesn't matter. He outheals everything. All right, guys. I'll show you that Fiddlesticks will be a complete tool. We'll just get one shot. 
How would you play versus Mundo as Riven? Mundo is top 5 weakest early game champions. I tried to kill him level 1, level 2. Watch any vault that I play into Mundo, I'm in his face level 1. Zoning him and playing very hard. Yo, why am I getting flamed for my weight, by the way? GG. 88 kilos is a lie, by the way. I gained somewhere. I'm 9 kilos. GG. But we don't talk about it. Okay, so. Fiddlesticks could be here. I don't see him. Uh, he should be able to get priority. His W. Um, so I want to play more so trade avoidant, but... Main importance here, guys, I want to try and get even in CS. Farming is my main priority throughout this entire laning phase, right? If I'm farming well, I'm doing my job. I don't need to kill this guy, I should get good farm. Okay. Okay. That's, that's it. Cards is spamming the bot. You see how Lee Sin hasn't been here yet? So by process of elimination, by Lee Sin not showing on rep buff, it is safe to assume that Lee Sin is actually pathing top this game, right? But Card is pathing towards bot. So that means I'm weak-sided. But the wave is actually pushing towards the fiddlesticks right now, which can be scary for me. Okay, he's pushing the wave back. Perfect. Because by him doing that, the wave will push back into me, which is... I mean, no, it's still kind of pushing into him. I'm gonna bait him here to W. So that on the wave as well. So now the wave pushes back into me, which is perfect. Why? So I'm not forced to walk up for last hits by the time the Lee Sin ends up being in the top side here. Do it one more time. Go suck the thing. Thank you, bro. Perfect. Wave is pushing into me. I lose some HP, but it's beneficial because now the wave is pushing into me. And again, by the wave pushing into me, I'm not going to be gankable. I'm not forced to walk up for last hits. We are completely chilling. And he's looking for a ward. That gives me an opportunity to look for this. And back to farming, right? That's all I'm doing. I'm playing with the wave state. I'm thinking about the jungle pathing. I'm trying to play my waves around the potential jungle pathing. And I'm scaling for free. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to put my potion on here. Just in the case that Lee Sin wants to try and dive me. Because he's a good early game dive. And Phil Six has good setup with his fear. I'm a mama, mama me, I'm going to eat that one. I, no, okay, I couldn't get that one. Alright, three points into Q, uh, then max E. And like I said, guys, all I'm doing is farming. I know Lee Sin is around top side right now. It could be around Scuttle, could be... Uh, there he is, 24 CS. Cards are at 28 because he clears faster, so cards are already on both sides Scuttle, which is good. And uh, like I said, look where I am by the time that Lee Sin is top side on the right turret. Quite a manus. So, the main takeaway here, guys, is play your early game wave states around the jungle path thing instead of your matchup, and you'll always be good. All right, my guy. I'm gonna recall now, because I'm scared of getting dove. Might not have to be scared. I'll hit level five on this wave, so I think I just lost some XP, though. He doesn't have ignite, so I'm not too scared, but if he kills me here, it's uh, Twitch that's fault. That's all I'm saying. Alois isn't chunky, muscle weighs more than fat. Exactly. There you go. There you have it. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Well, he's just pushing this wave perpetually back into me, which is completely fine for me. Because it's gonna make it so I'm not forced to walk up for last hits. And then, um, we're able to scale. Remember, farming even is winning. Alright, Phil6, please push the wave back into me. Do it. Do the thing. Wait, I'm lagging. Alright, the wave is pushing back into me. I'm gonna reset. I do double Ruby Crystal. He gets level 6 from this wave exactly because he's lost 0 XP. So I gotta be very careful here. He can look to kill me. Mama. Yo, wait, am I dead? I am. Okay, Flash ult is kinda. I didn't see that coming. I'm gonna be very honest here. Hey, well played to that fat guy. My bad. I knew he was gonna get level 6 from the wave. I thought I could get my reset in time. It's okay. Uh, that's the only thing we should have avoided though. Dying, right? We still even farm, but yeah, we died. And uh, that's just not good. I could maybe make him lose the plate. But less than everything. No. I should have made that decision earlier. Oh, good. I'm gonna hard push this wave. And the reason I hard push it is so that it bounces back into me. I'm gonna be forced to walk up for last hits. My card's in a good position, though, so that's alright. Bot lane and top lane are a little bit struggling, but you gotta lose your early game as the Mundo very often. It's all good. Uh, 
I gotta get a grass for cure. Wait, you wanna fight me here? Surely not, right? Oh, get, oh a Carthus! Oh, Carthus. You are sick, though, but like, he left. He was dead. That champ is very, uh, very obnoxious. I mean, we get grubs at least. It's not bad, but he should be dead. I think there's a fiddlesticks in here. Maybe not. All right, this would be a massive kill. I'm gonna try and last hit it. Oh no. Okay. Don't get level 6, nice. I get 2 kills, that is such a steal by the way. Oh my days, that is so massive. Now, I gotta figure out how do I set up my next reset, and I think whilst this wave is pushing towards me, I'm just gonna set up my reset now. Fiddlesix might still have teleport, I'm not entirely sure. He does not. The wave is pushing into me, perfect time to reset. I don't think his means clear this wave before this wave arrives, so I kind of get a freeze. Why? Well, guys, I would just say it. We got lucky there. Lucian was there at level 5 only. Cartus was much stronger. Wait, he did have teleport. I also don't see how he's back so fast. But again, he doesn't get this wave in before this wave arrives. And so, at maximum, I lose a plate here. And we're still very, very good. Hey, Alois, food with level 18. What's better, Titanic or Overlords? Uh, you get both. You sell your Warmux. You first get Titanic, and then you sell Warmux for Overlords. That's what you do. Okay, guys, we're still slightly behind in XP, but other than that, we're gonna have Warmox soon, and at that point, like I always say, at Warmox you become Thanos, you become unstoppable, and we're gonna have a fun game. I mean, he's gonna hit the wave again, and me, so I just gotta dip. It's kind of funny gameplay, but I get some grass rocks, it's alright. 700 gold, and we are strong too. That went to Narnia. Right now, I can't trade as much, but once I have Warmox, it's gonna get a real fun game. Alright, we'll manage to match level 8 here. I hard push the next wave. He could look too old onto me here, though. I gotta be a bit wary of that. What the... F okay. He can't kill me. Is Mundo a good blind pick? Not that much. He is actually one of the worst blind picks because... But I buy, I first picked blind pick in this game, and they picked this into me, so... It's just a... Holy, I was 1 HP. Wait, do I die? I get him, right? I missed the Q, though. Please, please, please. Oh, okay, I was lucky. I missed the Q, but we're lucky. Okay, guys, remember, when I said, once I get Warmox, the game is gonna get really fun. I'll explain it once I have it, but I'll show you guys why. I mean, it is very self-explanatory why Mundo becomes the best champion in the game after Warmox. You'll see. Who the five weakest champions in the early game? Uh, Nasus. Nasus is extremely weak. Mundo is extremely weak. Shivana top is extremely weak. Kill is pretty weak. I mean, Kill can somewhat fight level one, but she's still extremely weak. Uh, who is still really weak? Sion. Uh, those are amongst the weakest, for sure. Okay, so now, once you have Warmox, I didn't even need this. What I can do now is basically trade as much with the Fiddlesticks as I can, drop all the way to 1 HP, walk back, and I heal back to full in a few seconds. So, I'm gonna start trading with him here, right? Just for fun. I lose half my HP. I trade some HP back. He can do a little bit more of that. I get some grass procs. I mean, honestly, he's sustaining a shit ton as well. So, I've lost almost all my HP. I walk away, I do this. We chill a little bit, and I go back to full HP like nothing happened. And so, one successful trade, and I will have the complete advantage. Stop silencing me because I get really annoyed. So now you don't have a lot of means. Now you're gonna get punished. Is that my Galio? Bro, that looks like enemy Galio. Well, this guy's dead. Hit him, baby. Last hit. Hey! No, stop, stop! Okay, thank you. Two for one. 
I am lucky this game. Hey, I'll be honest, guys. I'm lucky this game. I am extremely lucky. My bad, bro. All right. And now we go back to full HP real quick. And that is why Warmox is brain dead and broken. So what you do as Mundo throughout the laning phase is try to not die like I did. Um, play to go even. Then once you have Warmox, you become a monster. Reminder, Mundo is one of the best scaling champions in the game. People don't believe me, but it's true. You'll, show, you'll see it. Uh, no, you shouldn't start Ruby Crystal. Oh, we get six drops. Oh, the game is so over, guys. So, for the rest of this game, what I'm going to be doing is playing side waves into turrets. And if there's no turrets, I'll play for John Camps. I'm never playing for kills. I'll get kills as, like, by proxy, by people trying to stop me from taking turrets. But I'm never looking for kills throughout this game anymore. I'm going to play side waves into, into either turrets or into John Camps. And there's going to be no counterplay into it. F for real. Because anytime they try to hit me, I go back to full HP with Warbox. I'll get hard steel. I have more uh, HP. The more HP I build, the more AD I get. 3.4% of my total HP gets converted into AD. That's why I have 190 AD with Warmox, and my Tristana has less AD than I do. And uh, the more HP I have, the more my... Uh, the Molish will proc as well. That was impressive, bro. Please don't... Oh, mama. Okay, I might have a problem. Nah, we chilling. Oh, guys, they almost killed me. No! Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, okay, give me a second. Give me a second. All right. Nice play, buddy, team, right? Holy. Such a lovely champion, isn't it? That's why I tell everybody right now, if you want to climb, you play Mundo. It is brainless and easy. Anybody can play this. I think my Nan could be able to play this. Oh, guys, he's taking my HP again. No. Don't do it. He lost mana. Okay, guys, roll HP again. Give me a second. Give me a second. And uh, back to full HP. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Okay, Speedy Gonzalez. My bad. Oh, let's get a third then. If you jungler gets grubs as Mundo, it's so disgusting, by the way. This gives you XP. Oh, yeah, I mean, that turret won't really defend you, I'm afraid. Goodbye. Okay, he has no means to heal from now. Guys, like I said, side waves, jump camps, and turrets is all I'm going to be playing for. I'll get my reset in, and uh, actually, you know what? I don't even have to. Rad Zolzi, take the prime. We're back to full HP anyways, and I can get half the turret. He doesn't have TP. Why should I take back? And again, the more HP I have, the more AD I have. Look, six rubs. I'll take half the turret. Next time I have Demolish, I won't shoot it. There's nothing Fiddle 6 can do against me anymore. It, genuinely nothing. Well, there goes his... Oh, that came like a second too late. That's alright. I'll just show him the funny. He's gonna ult me and stuff, do everything in his power to try and stop me, but... Let's see this bolt. Me and actually cancels Warmox too, it's annoying. Let's get back to full. Alright, these Lyanges now. <laughs> How stupid is this gameplay though? Alright guys, this is base TP. I have 4k gold for some, by some reason. And uh, yeah. You don't want to mess with me, bro. Oh, we both heal a lot. Oh, what are you? Okay, guys, I think we need some anti heal. If you hit it, you get some XP, I reckon. Okay, all the turrets on the map are still up. This turret, uh, this turret, I can play for this. Game's looking mighty fine. Alright, we get this. I kind of want anti heal. We'll get it later. Alright, guys, let's do the same thing we've been doing before, which is be a menace. And uh, not much counter play for these guys. I'm just gonna take this turret, then go both play for the bot tier one. Like I say, sideways. Turrets, that's what I'm playing for. Alright, turret gone. <clears throat> then I'm gonna ping that I go bolt. Oh, he's dead now. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm being greedy. As per usual. 
Oh my don't. Oh, let's quickly heal back to full. You see, you don't want this fight, by the way. Okay, maybe that's, maybe that's, maybe that's. Oh, where are you coming from? Okay, that's just gonna be for nothing, by the way. It's okay, it's okay. Me vault now. And then by going vault with six robes, we'll be able to get everything, and it's gonna be good. I should have never done this, though. It ruins my tempo. She doesn't see the turret. Go mid or top. Please, don't take this, please. She has to. Bro, I kind of want some anti-heal. Do we just go Bramble? They have so much healing. This guy heals, this guy heals, this guy heals. Yeah, let's get this. I just have to against the Fiddlesticks. If he never auto attacks me, I can never proc it onto him, by the way. But I assume he doesn't have that much discipline to never auto attack me in skirmishes. Yes, you go 3 points Q, then max E. Give it a try, bro. Try one Mundo game for yourself. See how much you like it. I need to go bot lane, bro. So my score doesn't look insane, right? I'm just a 4 and 2 Mundo. But I've gotten shit ton of turret gold already. So I am actually a complete manus. Alright, you can get this. I'll get the midwife and the mid here too. They can fight. I don't care. All I care about, guys, is as much gold income for myself as possible. How do I get gold? Sideways, turrets, jungle camps. In that order as well. See, I can move there, but I can also just get like 50 turrets, no? Uh, shit. I want this money. She's gonna have a shutdown in a second. You know, I can just walk through that, right, Jinx? Like, for fun. Good try, bro. Very well played by you. Oh. Well played. Alright. Hey, guys. See you later. Sideways, jungle camps, turrets. Or sideways, turrets, get jungle camps. And yeah, if enemies are gonna try and stop me, then I'll just do that real quick. I give my heart to Procro Stick. Thank you. And I'm dipping. Alright! Wait, there's a Vex here. No, the hearts to proc. I wouldn't mind. It's all good. We're gonna go bot. Play for bot tier 2. Let's go. Alright, guys. So, we have a lot of item opportunities now. Uh, yo, Foy TV. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're an amazing stream boss, man. Welcome. Uh, I'm gonna go for Unending Despair. AKA, become unkillable. You're moaning, though? I'm not moaning, bro. You're... I hope you're a good stream, brother. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Alright guys, we're gonna go bot lane. I have ult in 60, so I'm a little bit wary of that, but um, if I don't have ult and or ghost, I don't think it's good for me to join a skirmish in general. So going to bot lane here is preferred. Alright, so their main weak condition is their Jinx, and uh, it doesn't matter because they don't have percentage health damage. Yo, Destro Beef, I'm very glad to have you in here as well, brother. Champ is here, David Primer. Alright, watch this damage through turret yet. Reminder, guys, this guy is Kraken Slayer Infinity Edge. I have built only tank. Right? Where's Jinx? I just want to show her AD compared to mine. Ooh. Because HP is like the most efficient stat that you can build on Mundo. Look at this her look at her AD. She has a little bit more. Alright, bro. Alright, bro, you're that cool. A little bit more AD than I have building full tank. I one shot her. She won't one shot me though. One more Q she's dead. I have old ghost. Alright, bro. Time. Time to go. Oh, that will stop me. I don't even old. How old? Healing juice. Well, guys, what do you think of my outplay on them? Ooh. Like I said, I'm letting you spare. Become unkillable. Nice combo, bro. Nice combo right there. Alright, see ya too. Ay, 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 I will play. That's Mundo, though. <clears throat> I'm in Korea right now. I watch your old votes for tips on climbing on it. Yo, have fun in Korea. I will go again next year, probably. In January, I'm gonna go again. Okay, I kinda got cooked. Fiddle 6 W deals more damage. It doesn't have percentage health damage. Dealing bonus execute damage and a duration. Hmm. Fiddle 6 W actually deals damage to me. Nothing else deals damage to me. I took 9k damage there. Not too shabby. I could get Thor Mill. 
I think I just want this. Question, I'm silver at the moment. Do I worry about damage shares or do I just play comfort regardless if it makes it full ID? I mean, what is your name, by the way? Baby Bear. Okay, anyways, what I would do in your shoes, if, if you're going to play an AD top, you see the rest of the job is leading towards full ID, you just ask, please play AP. If they don't, either dodge or play it, yeah. Depending also on how enemy draft is able to uh, itemize armor, I guess. Well, that guy just popped. I don't kind of want to be with my team because it's counterintuitive because then they can all group up onto us as well. But I know they're shaking their boots looking at my presence. I have all again in a second and then they're all dead. Jinx knows what I can do to her. They're all dealing damage by the way. It's so sad to look at now. Like they're just not dealing damage but they have built 0% of health damage so who's gonna kill me in their draft? I already said it. As long as I go even this game, it's just cooked for them. This galley ult looks so weird. Alright, time to go. Come on, I didn't see that. This one. A bitch. And we're back to full HP. Like I said guys, I will skill, nothing they can do. No percent of chop damage in the draft. Mind you, I B want Mundo this game. So I just buy big Mundo. Alright, one shot this turret real quick, like a wholesome fella I am. Lovely. Again guys, zero AD built this game. We didn't get to the point where I can actually build AD. Doesn't matter though. We're moon though. No more Riven. We'll play Riven. But we're gonna go unranked to master on Mundo first. So we're gonna grind all the way. We start in silver. We're around Emerald MR right now. We're going all the way to Master on Mundo. Once that is done, and people have been shown the way of the Mundo, we move on. Killer Candace can get it, he gave me 6 grubs. Is Warmness good on Mundo? Yes, it is broken. In fact, I think the design is so dog shit it should be removed. I don't think it's healthy for an item to give you infinite sustain. That it is genuinely um, counterintuitive to how League of Legends should be played. It's like having a revival League of Legends. Get the skin. Alright guys, type 1 in chat. Okay, yeah, you know everybody's gonna type it. Give me a second then, okay? Give me a second then. I'll buy the I'll buy the I'll buy the moon though skin. I just need a second. Uh I'm gonna switch the scene so I don't leak anything. How much does it cost? Dr. Mundo. Mundo. Corporate Mundo. We buy. Purchase RP. We need 1820. According to my calculations. We need, need to spend 22 euros to buy that skin. 22 euros. What a scam that is, bro. I am just short if I buy that, right? Yes. 22 years. Oh my days. But I mean, I, I would say the base mono skin really, really is disgusting, by the way. It really is bad to look at. Get Chroma too. Yeah. That's what I did. Might as well buy all the skins, eh? Okay, uh, what else? Uh, what's my password? I'll mute this. Say zap zap. There you go. Zap zap. Zap zap. Zap zap. Alright. Uh, and now I gotta do uh, code on the phone. Remember when my Twitch got hacked and I did Arcane Stream? Since then I have 2FA on literally every single application known to mankind, by the way. I don't take my risk anymore. Am I muted? No, I'm not muted. Okay. So maybe having a monologue. <clears throat> Alright guys, we have the RP. We have the Mundo. Alright, we can buy one more Mundo skin. We can't buy these. Pool party or Rage Warn. Bro, I just want PTA Mundo. And then you're like, clink. Rafa, they were prime, bro. Money, money. Emperor Pigatron. Thank you, Vanity, for the daily 10. Thank you for the daily Emperor Pigatron. Boss, wait, what did I read here? Boss man. I read something. You say, but it's back. Can you read Prime's his problem and maybe give your thoughts on it? Yes. Okay. What does it say? Usually after four. Right. There's so many messages. Okay. What do you say? I'm always ahead, but I don't find him consistent, and I can always carry extend my lead. Is that me or what champion is he playing? Uh. 
Oh, do I think Rennington is a good champion to OTP in low elo? Uh, I'm always ahead, but I don't find them consistent that I can't always carry or extend my lead. Is that a me problem or a champion problem? Well, the thing is with Rennington, right, is Rennington is a very lane dominant champion, but his the drawback to his early game strength is his lack in scaling. And if you are ahead and then you die once or twice, you lose your control over the game. You don't have infinite scaling the same way Mundo has. Now, I think... Uh, there is very big benefits to playing Reddington and Lord MMR, mainly that you're able to win a lot of your laning phases. His kit is relatively simplistic, so he has a lot of benefits, but yeah, the drawback is that you get outskilled by a lot of champions and uh, make one or two mistakes and then randomly you don't control the game anymore. So, um, you have to choose it for yourself. See, I like Mundo better than Reddington. Um, the drawback is you lose most of your laning phases, but you skill like a monster every game and they general game time in load MMR tends to be much larger and Mundo benefits from that so yeah I would recommend Mundo hey Aloyski give me your blessing one game away from Emerald good luck and sick you got this bro if anybody flames my wall person thank you to prime brother Hello, what is your peak rank in EOS love your YouTube videos I was a rank 8 with a 66% win rate last year I haven't really tried it on high elo EOS anymore though for quite a while. Yes, 13 key jig. I actually had target champions only on on a Zac passive and it targeted a mean because it didn't target the Zac passive and I died. Don't promote Mundo to people I can't keep banning it. What are you going to do to stop me? What is this emote? What is Moon's Worth Messer and how do you oh, deal, deal with it? Gwen, Aurelia, and um, Vayne, Fiora. And basically, what you do is you don't trade with them ever. That is your goal. Yeah, but Mundo will be canon mean after upcoming nerfs, I guarantee you. Wait, is he getting nerfed? I've logged out of socials, logged out of Twitter, Instagram, all this shit, so I haven't seen the new pack. <gasps> they took him! Guys, it's time to play Shivana then. I saw this video. It's by Lo Dobby, the unstoppable top Shivana build. They're playing it in Korea right now. I need some inspiration. What is the build setup? What is this shit, man? So we can try a game of AP or, or of Shivana top. Basically, what you do is you go full, full ability head setup. And look, he has one E right here. And he can already throw another one. So you can have multiple E's so your Q's perma off cooldown. But let's see. They banned my friend, and I'm very sad now. I believe they go Ignite TP. It looks strong. So it was the rune setup again. Okay, so basically, guys, we're gonna be a tool, an absolute tool in the early game, and then we scale. That's the that's the idea here. Into Shen. Well, at least we get the chance to scale. He's not like, well, Shen is a pretty disgustingly strong early game champion if you know how to utilize it. Okay, we go. Uh, what is this? It's cashback. I have never played cashback rune yet. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We're kind of full AP here, though. But Shivana does mix. We're gonna go AD build, anyways. So they just rush. Um. Holy, what is this? This is ugly. Like, what's a build? Sojin rush. Looks like he's rushing Sojin just for the ability. Is Sojin, Strikebreaker, and then this Sojin, Strikebreaker, this is that. Hope he support. Holy! I mean, their draft is pretty melee range, which is actually good for me, right? So I can proc it a lot. Lucidity put Sojin. Where is my Shavana? All right. See, the thing is. Shivana top has been a thing since forever. It's always been good, so to speak. But it's so build dependent, right? And every now and then people just invent the weirdest Shivana build. Hey, last time you happened. 
I gotta go to the toilet, by the way. For the melee, it's conquer in the video, say 0 0.52, I see. I just think I would go face rush regardless, because it's way easier to play face rush. Because, yeah, with Conqueror, you have no escape paths, right? I mean, maybe they don't buy Mundo now. By the way, Mundo would have gone hard. What did they have? They had, like, Shen? Nunu? Smolder? Poppy? Something. Mundo would have won that against a draft as well. There is so little percentage health damage in the game right now, especially with the removal of Divine Sunderer. Divine Sunderer was the ultimate Mundo counter, because it would always give you percentage health damage, but... So even champions like, I don't know, Camille Jax, which is, like, full fish. I mean, they're already... All right, right? But uh, now with those items gone, yeah, it's harder. Do they have a Disco Nunu? Well, we'll never know. I'll bet nothing. Let's see if Mundo gets banned again. I want a good song. <sighs> would Breaking Benjamin slap with Dr. Mundo gameplay? It probably would, eh? This is also not bad, though. Alright, let's see, Mundo ban. If not, we quickly switch our setup. Yeah, Bork, Bork is the main item that counts as Mundo. That's why I realized really tricky. Uh, we can go Ghost or Flash, we'll see it on the matchup. I see that, um, what's his name? Briefcase Man actually mainly plays uh, Flash, Mundo, which was surprising to see for me. I think Ghost is insane, but Flash gives you easier time getting through a laning phase. Nah, I want my Mundo, bro, before they pick it. Let's go. Alright, Apex, what Evo do you want, buddy? Remake the vine, I miss him. Mods, get him out. I can't. This is cringe. Looks cr looks Okay. Okay. I guess you look at this when I miss my wall up, I guess. I'd like to see the original Mujo skin. Thank you for the reminder. On that note. Bomba! Getting a suit to imp Okay, Fiora, what are the hardest matchups? Ooh, I like this. Now I look like clean. Please, how do I play scaling champs in lane? For example, kill. Mundo falls in that bracket. Watch this next game that I play. I explain everything that I do. What do you play against Mundo of the Fiora or Vayne? Gwen, Aurelia. Pink? Why you want pink? Go pink? Alright then, guys. Alright. My bad, I guess. Alright then. Pink, pink suit it is. I'm not, I'm not that confident in my masculinity that I take a pink suit, but whatever. Sure. Sure, I guess. No, I'm kidding. Jeremy Fragrance Mundo. <laughs> Jeremy Fragrance Mundo. Holy shit, they should make like a custom skin. That would go so hard. Holy moly. Yo, Brimlo. Nah, I'm confident enough in my masculinity, I can wear a pink suit. Briefcase was right, Mundo outskills Camille. Anything but Briefcase says, which is not, yes, that guy's the god of Mundo. I actually think I will go flash this game, so I, they have less kill pressure onto me. Yes, enemy draft is pretty hard to play because both Azir and Fiora can try to stop me in the side lane. It's not that easy, this game. I'm using a new build on Jax Triforce into Spear or Death Sense into Rift Maker. You can only buy a Rift as third or later because of the Adaptive Force. I see. That's nice. Well done. Alright, guys. So, let's go into the educational part. Especially for the guy that was asking, how do I play Scaling Champions in the laning phase? Because that is pretty tricky, right? So, here, we're playing against Fiora. One of the strongest early game champions in the game. Because Q Auto is an auto attack reset. And her passive heals her and deals extra damage to me, right? So she has a passive that grants her extra fighting opportunities. Ultimately, she is much stronger than me. She's playing Ignite Teleport, so no flash. That's good for me. And the way that I approach this matchup is trade avoidant. I don't want to trade. I don't want to have a small trade. I don't want to have an extended fight. I lose both. She outsustains me. She outdamages me. There is zero intention for me to fight her. Also, let me make a quick call and uh, call your mom. No, okay. 
Uh, other than that, we're gonna be playing Trade Avoidant. I wanna get pushed in. Like I say every single game, I wanna get pushed in. I don't wanna lose HP so that I can play out the bounds so I can set up my resets. All I'm gonna be doing throughout this entire game is playing to set up my resets so that I can stay in the game consistently. The other day I was out for top, so I played with no only problem is I didn't know when to trade. Vincent, you start trading after warmocks in the general sense. Or if you need to like basically hold your opponents off so that you can crash the wave. All I'm gonna be doing throughout this entire game is setting up my resets. That's all I'm gonna do. Stop calling my grandma, she needs to cook. Alright, give me a second, I need a meal too, bro. Grandma, make me some food, bring it over 5 p.m. Uh 6 p.m. actually. Oh, right, let's go. Alright, so no scale uh, no fighting. Fiona could be in this bush. She could be trying to zombie from the first three means worth of XP. She's not doing so, so we're chilling. And now we are going to basically wait to get pushed in. And we're surviving. Lilia's passing at the top. I am unsure. She's playing a D blade. She's walking up. Okay, she's hitting the caster. Maybe she would try to zombie right. I'm just gonna get my Q and look to get pushed in here. Alright, bro. Stop switching aggro. First vital is front, so we're just vibing, walking away. You said that shit? Alright guys, we're 3 for 3 for melees. That is happy days. Same thing that I was doing against the Trinimere. I'm gonna wait for this wave to get a little closer. And I'll ward here to basically see what she's going to do after crushing this wave. Hey. She took E second, not W. Alright bro. And now I ward as late as possible, as I was explaining. If I eat this me, and I can also get the two casters behind there. Ay! Scheisse! It's actually because the Fiora hit me, so my main stopped hitting half mania. And so, yeah, it wasn't my fault. It was Fiora's fault, basically. Sorry, focus. Made me lose a lot of assets, though. So that's is not good. Yeah. Oh, I'm unlucky. I'm just unlucky, I guess. She's doing a third wave crash. It's a neutralizing play because what's gonna happen when she does a third wave crash is on the bounce, I'm actually gonna hit level four faster. And so I can actually somewhat trade back because I'm gonna get my level timer faster here. This is why I don't like doing a third wave crash when I'm trying to play aggressive onto my opponent because look, her next wave is coming here, right? But she's not able to hit my means, I'm able to hit hers. And like I said, I'm gonna be able to hit level four faster here, thus allowing me to somewhat have an opportunity to maybe fight back a little bit here. She needs to kill two melees and a castle to get to level four. I already have it here. So now I actually fight because of lateral timers. And she misses there. So now, because I have level four and she's level three, by her doing a third wave crash, I'm actually able to play out this bounce here. Beautiful. And now I trade with her here, not to look to kill her, but to able to be able to play at this bounce. And again, this is her mistake of doing a third wave crash. No Fuanimanos! If she would have done a second wave crash or a fourth wave crash, it would have been much, much, much better for her. But now, I'm able to play in the bounce, and I actually am in a very good position, even though I'm playing a bad matchup. Why? Fuanimanos! You want to learn all of those? Check out my course, alright. Now, I have two options here. Actually, I could stay even because she's so ridiculously low HP. She has to recall. And I can make this wave drag into me. Maybe cancel her one more time. And we are completely vibing. Lilia is here. Nearly 16 CS. Lily might not have flash. Yeah, she flashed. This is a good opportunity for me. I mean, I can't kill her. Also, she gets access to bushes here. So her passive gets her movement speed. <coughs> If you to... Don't want to talk about... Waves pushing back into me. That's beneficial for me. Why? Because whenever the wave is pushing into me, I'm not forced to walk up for last hits. We're able to scale for free. And so now, I'm going to be able to scale to level 6 for free because the wave is pushing into me, right? And uh, generally speaking, your rule of thumb is you want to reset whilst the wave is pushing towards you. But right now, I have teleport, so I'm afraid of a jail card. So I don't need to teleport right now. We're completely fine. Alright guys, if that matters one, your mom is a fat pig in game. Yeah, I should stop talking like that. It's right. Uh, this wave normally would grant her level six, but she had lost some XP, so she won't. And yeah, we're farming even. And that's all because she decided to do a third wave crash. Ooh. You can't W those third shots, buddy. No, you don't have to. Just clear into bolts. So here, I pick my jungle away, because from her perspective, if she gets top here and she gets nothing, it's bad. She should recon and go into bolt. Way more efficient for her. 
like I said, I have teleport. I mean, she can look. I she it's her own decision. She's a grown woman. All right, she has ignite, so I'm gonna be wary of that. I'm gonna ult a little early here. She has no flash, so she should be dead. Light this Q, and the game is over now. The reason this game is over is because I'm ahead. Don't you dare! I got a kill, okay? I was explaining, and now I won't explain because you guys are gonna type minus one, so now I won't explain. Now I won't explain, actually. No, I won't explain it. No, I won't explain it anymore. I won't explain it. I keep my teleport. Perhaps I should just look for two plates and base TP, but it's okay. Please. Oh shit, Hard push it, hard push it. Hard push it! Hard push it! Hard push it! Hard push it. Uh, easy. I didn't say anything, just explain to me. Okay, Solomio, the reason why the game is over is because I get my reset in. I'm ahead in gold. I'm ahead in CS. I shouldn't be ahead in this matchup. I will somewhat outskill her now. I'm going to get to Warmox really, really fast before she gets Hydra. And I'm going to be very strong. There you go, bro. Also, the way Butch is back into me, I still have Teleport. So it's very hard for her to try and progress onto me right now. Oh, I put a fourth point into Q because I'm explaining. Sorry. I need to max my E now, not my Q. She's going to go for this frontal fight, so I'm walking like this to be annoying. Ooh. I mean, she's still dead. Thank you, Lilia. Wait for a W. Bomba. Uh, if I pointed E, I would have had it, but at least I get this cannon. I've never lost a cannon in my life. I can get plates as well, because this guy's got me grubs, and now the game's just too easy to play, man. It's rare for me to get ganks on Mundo, but uh, yeah, I mean, when you do, it's really, 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 really nice. And like I said, it's extremely hard for Fiora to ever... Progress to me right now because I also have teleport and yeah, I can always play bounces. How does Mundo beat Fiora? Well, this game I guess because of a jungle gap. Reminder to put points in my E. Thank you, chat for the reminder. All right, one point four k gold and we are Thanos, Thanushka. Oh, her team actually procked the vital there. <clears throat> I hit these. Ooh. This wave is a cannon wave. Cannon waves grant you 200 gold. Normal waves grant you around. I mean, you get around 180 gold, but you also get gold by the game, right? So I have 200. I'll have 1.4k gold after this wave. I base teleport. I have war mocks, and the game is absolutely over for the Fiora. There's nothing she's going to be able to do anymore because I would always be full HP and I can always trade, which is very toxic. Very toxic. And that's why it's so nice to still have my waterworks, and that's why I said the game is Jover. There's nothing this guy's gonna be able to do anymore. It's gonna be extremely brainless. <clears throat> Beautiful. I mean, I could maybe kill her, but the risk to reward is... Okay, no, now she's dead. Alright, I mean, I understand her... How do you call it? Desperation attempt here? Because she knows I'm probably on my warm mocks reset. But at the same time, it is desperation. And, uh, yeah, it only puts her further back. I was gonna base DP, but she was playing too aggressive. Devian, take her primer. I'm gonna get one plate, insta hit base, and uh, GG. Hey, so they're nearly playing an alright game, but... We're even pretty much everywhere else. So the game is in a perfect spot for me. Oh shit. I mean this guy is fat, right? Good W by me though. I need to dodge this Q. Okay, nice. Base to P. <clears throat> a Mundo with a shot on pre Warmix. Yes, this is an extremely rare sight. This should never happen if you get this much gold acceleration as Mundo in the early game. As long as I never die now, there is no way for Fiora to get back close to the amount of gold income that I have. Uh, and I'll just say perpetually ahead. So here, I'll trade like a piggy. So she takes half my HP, I take half of hers, I walk away. And uh, we do this, we wait a bit. We call, uh, 
I don't know, bro. Pizza place. And we're back to full HP. And this is why it's brain dead. And she still have HP. And uh, reminder that the more HP I build, the more AD I get. I hit these. And the uh, game's over. Nothing she can do. That's why Warmog's Russia Mundo is unhealthy just because uh, of the healing. But it's also that I have more AD than her right now, whilst I've only built HP. So not only do I have infinite health sustain, my demolish proc deals more damage, but I also get so much AD from this ability, right? So it just kind of feels really unfair. Mundo is more of a sandwich guy than a pizza slice guy. All right, bag is my bad, bro. Like, I'm sorry that you know the lore of Mundo and that he likes sandwiches more than pizza. My bad, bro. Like, I'm sorry, man. All right. Nilly isn't really a threat to my champion, though, so to be fair, don't really care. Time to start expanding my lead. We have three grubs, they got three. I mean, just got to start playing for her tier two turret because, I mean, she's even bot. That's a mistake. Let's say Fiora was here right now, right? And she'd be trying to stop me. Don't care. I just hit the turret under her face. Wait till I'm one HP. Run away. Go back to full HP and repeat. Hope we're having a good day, brother. Thank you, Ice Storm. Good to see, you, man. I'm having a pretty good day. Much better now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're here. I'm gonna get my demolish in a second. And uh, from this point onwards, guys, I am never playing for kills. I say this every time. I'm gonna play for side waves into turrets if I can. If no turrets, then jungle camps. And then I'll join for neutral objectives. And that's how I'm gonna carry this game, okay? So I'll move to the position where I can get maximum gold income. So now, with the skirmish going on, it's probably best for me to move mid. There's a wave. Azir is fighting. He's half HP. He's recalling. Guess what? Tempo on mid lane. Looking for these plates right here. Two point or 3k gold to get this item. I'm not gonna go for this because it would ruin my tempo here. And we get some plates. You know what? If anybody flames my wallop, I'm perma banning you. I wanna use that demolish. Yo, they were primer. I gotta land that. Minus one. Beautiful! Meteor one almost down. I'll go top for one wave, collect it, push it all the way here, reset, and then probably go bot. The reason I push it all the way here is so that I have tempo and Fiora can't retaliate, right? And we're back to full HP. Right? All I'm gonna be doing, guys, is side wave, play my echo correctly, and that's how we're gonna expand our lead here. We can put one more point in our E. And we're gonna go get another AD jump because we get percentage here. So look, when I put my point in E here, I go for high 84, high 95. Beautiful. Hard push this wave, reset Gobot. Is Mundo easier or harder than Garen? I believe that Mundo is easier than Garen. Oh, please don't watch me. Now reset and me bot, please. The problem with going bot, however, is that Jenna and Kaisa can kind of stop me from wait. You don't want this bitch. Also, Warmogs grants you movement speed. So with Warmogs and Boots of Sweetness, my movement speed is genuinely unfair. I don't think this item should give you movement speed, but it does, so... There's another added benefit to uh, Warmogs Rush that shouldn't exist. You know what? Why do I go bot? Just take this shit. Spaghetti for life, David Prime. What's the counterplay for Fiora? Ooh, Fiora. Ooh. Ooh. Good trade, bro. Hey. Goodbye, Fiora. I'm just gonna heal back to full HP if you don't mind, eh? Yeah. Well, she did everything there she could, and uh, I just... Ooh, on that note, hang on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, Azir. Hello, guys. I'm Alois. Today we are gonna do a coaching in the top lane. Outplayed. Twelve Alois and salute. Wait, what? Did my eyes, my eyes are watering. Thank you, the start for the prime, bro. That's what water does for you. And now we go bot. Is... What are you doing? How's that on me? 
Please hit it. I mean, I have passive, bro. <laughs> Doesn't do much into me. Get the Azir. I don't have old doll, and I have 4k golden base. It's better to recall. If I can get Anybody him, it's massive because of my just text. Why, oh, 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 boss, love the stream, and how have you I been? Can't. I can't. Thank you so much for the prime, bro. Welcome, bro. Uh, our base? Oh, no. Our base? TP bot. Because nobody's bot now, right? I'm gonna go here. Azir isn't here. Um, Fiora isn't here. So I can get tempo on this wave. This is a massive wave, though, but Syndra is able to get that so she can get a little stronger, too. I'll buy this because they're mainly building AP. AP, AP, right? So, I'll go Spirit Visage first. I mean, I know Kaisa is gonna go for an 80 build pad, but she's building some AP, so, or some magic damage, so. Alright, now I have Hearts 2, so I can bonk her face. Oh, Fiora. What happened to your turret? Good trade, buddy. And now we're gonna go back and heal with Warmogs. This is why this gameplay is brain dead. And this is why all I'm gonna do is never die. That is my first goal. Side waves, turrets, drone camps, guys. And I scale. If I never give Fiora this shutdown, she can never get close to the amount of gold that I have. And I keep scaling. Ooh, can work. She couldn't choose. Ooh, that was a nice cue. Yeah, R2 broke my B. And all I'm doing is play for tier 2. Demolish again. Back to full HP because of Warmogs. Again, the more HP I build, the more AD I have, but also the higher damage my Demolish deals. Mundo is the highest winner champion with plus 2 kills in 10 minutes. No surprise for that, because he's one of the best scaling champions. Mundo should never have 2 kills. Fiddle Thip, take your prime. If Mundo gets 2 kills before minute 10, yeah, it's pretty much unfair. Uh, Kaiser, you're going melee range with me? I'm not sure about that one, buddy. I'll give you some hard seals. That's one. That's some good damage, I think. You want to give me more hard steel procs? Guys, guys, guys. I think it's time for Titanic Hydra. What do you guys think? Type 1? No. I'll do it. You know what? I don't need Unending Despair. Yet. I'll go Titanic Hydra first, so I can do the... The combo. The Machine Gun Mundo combo. We have this now. I mean, if I build a Ruby Crystal, by the way, I still get like 580, look. Very chill. Alright, uh, two options. Go to Dragon or defend top tier 1. I think getting this Dragon is more important, because this Fiora is kind of already useless anyways. So it's alright, do the Dragon. I'm here with the team. I have three items, I'm a monster. Hello, buddies. One item proc. That's is not good. Give me some hard seals. Dankeschön. One more. Dankeschön. Alright. And do the dragon now. Back to full HP with Warbox. And now I'll go top lane. Should be good for my team now. Uh, there is less for me to play for because I've gotten both tier 2 turrets on the map. Uh, so there's it's harder for me to get gold income. That's why I'm also just fine grouping for the neutral, right? This guy's running pretty low on mana though. Every Q costs 40 mana. She wants to get a vital. I'm not gonna allow that. Okay, not bad. She actually got a passive. Sorry, bro. I vault. Okay, she can do damage to me though, so I gotta, I gotta be less, less like uh, ego. It's okay. She starts dealing some damage. It's also because of conquer though and the anti heal. Level 60 is the biggest spike I can get, because then my ultimate basically makes me uh, Thanos with uh, 50 stones. Okay, Nidalee still has 25 mega stacks, so that guy is still an issue. Kai'Sa is still pretty strong. Azir is pretty farmed as well, so this game is not easy, but one of the easiest win conditions I always can do in games like these is just play for split push, because I win against both Azir and Fiora, so it's one thing to consider. Um, I can always split push whenever I have teleport, though, because I never want to give Nash. Yeah, bro, I just 
slap that thing, I'm sorry. It's probably best for me to split push both because it's the side wave opposite of the neutral objective, which is Baron. So that gives me like more freedom to play because then enemy team have to either defend me or defend Nashir. So if I'm top, it's kind of counterintuitive, but since I'm already bot, I'm already top, so for now I'll stay top lane. But I do want to somehow get bot lane sometime soon. Three people mid gives me an opportunity to maybe just destroy this. I think that's an okay trade, I'll take that. Goodbye to your turret. And I'm just gonna take uh, the quick right. Oh, that's a death sentence. I don't have old. I'm dead. Maybe hearts too. Two! Ah, that's worth! That's worth! I got two hearts steals there at the end. Of course, that's worth. Dude, we get mid tier two. I got top tier three. I killed the Fiora because she didn't slap. She didn't expect a slipper combo. Slipper combo is auto E. Machine gun combos auto E Titanic Hydra. Well, enemy team just ran it down. So we're vibing. Poor Nidalee can't carry. Nidalee's a hard champion to carry with in general. Once I have Titanic Hydra, we can do the full combo. Nidalee got it? That's actually preferred because then all the gold stays on one target, so to speak. If I had Ulta, I'd just walk away like nothing happened. So I imagine I'm that strong without ult already. I'd be so annoyed playing Nilly into a fat moon though. Alright, Nilly, where are you at? Nilly! Goodbye. Oh shit. Wait, this nearly is hikey sort of thing. Ah, uh, you know what? Yo, what is going on? Okay, I should've tanked, I should've tanked, I grieved. I grieved, I should've tanked. This nearly is- Oh wait, she just flashed. Oh, she has AIDS. Thank you. Jenna, you got melee rage too? Oh, how do I miss? I still win. Can't win. Budget, machine gun, mundo combo! Nine! Okay, I ended there. I ended there. Sorry, that was my fault. Oh, gee. Can win. That was my fault. I think I got one small by the way. I don't think I'll go, um, I don't despair. I think I need this, and I can actually one-shot people. Best counter pick to Mundo is Aurelia, cause Borg, Fiora, Gwen, Vayne. Anything Borg does good. I just hope we lose. <laughs> you type that you're a pig. Okay. We have a problem though. They will actually deal a shit ton of damage to me as well now. I need to get level 60. What about Set? I mean, Set has a harder time getting on top of Mundo. I can do Machine Gun Mundo combo now, though, guys. Okay, give it. The reason I want Aloys to say is because he's smart. Aurelius, 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 I think that's 16, man. Just don't. Oh, they're fighting. Okay, whatever. Maybe it's actually working. Holy shit, my team is serving it. Wait, they just won that fight 45. How did my team play it so well? What? Well played. Crazy. I, I wasn't even involved in the fight. Oh wait, we're giving. Still has mega stacks. Who is that guy? I'm gonna machine gun Mundo him though. Auto E, Titanic Hydra, bitch. Yo, who is that guy though? What did he just do? Sheesh. Calm down. 
Let's find the limestone window. That guy's a problem though. I can do dragon pretty fast. Your E just use like 1.4k on this objective. It's crazy. Uh, Azir's coming though. I just one shot this though. And walk away. Alright, Azir, let's try and fight it, yeah? You and me. Good try, bro. Peace. Ooh, I'll walk into the gen, I don't mind. As okay. Fiora's there as well. Alright. I think now if I just split push, that's the way to go this game. Okay, this guy should die. I saw you. As long as I don't have ult, I shouldn't skirmish. Wait, don't I just one shot his turret though? <laughs> that was suck. <laughs> Goodbye turret, I guess. Oh, W. Beautiful. Dude, I have one K hearts too. It's gonna get grim for them. When I have my one is blood mail, by the way. All my bonus two percent of my bonus health will become a D, so 5k is what? What's two percent of 5k guys? That's That's 100. Okay, I get 100 AD. I'm gonna get 100 AD just by building this item alone from the passive. Lovely! Wait, we want to mid like two. My job. Not sure how my team is doing it with their champions against theirs, but they're doing it. I did that on purpose, so you guys would type minus one, so I would get chat interactions. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Now the game's gonna get fun after one's blood mill. Alright, Fiora, don't do it. You're gonna regret it. I'm warning you, fair warning, don't do it. Good boy. Alright guys, 8k HP. Negative armor, by the way. Doesn't matter. We have 600 AD. And reminder, the more missing health we have, we can get 10% increase in tech damage. I don't know how much, I think we can get to like 700 AD this game. We don't even have Infernal Dragons. But I just have 600 AD, right? My Ezreal, for example, just for comparison, is sitting below 300. So I probably have more AD than both AD carries combined, whilst having 8k HP. So now, <laughs> we can one-shot anybody that comes remotely close. And I have two auto-tech cancels in my E and Titanic Hydra. This is why Mundo is one of the best scaling champions in the game. Because you are a full tank. With 600 AD, which is unfair. Kaisa AD is... Okay, but she's not really building AD, right? I don't have another comparison. Just take my word that 600 AD is ridiculous. You know, if they fight like this, by the way, I just push and end the game. Like, they are gonna panic, but this turret is gone in like a nanosecond. It will evaporate. So I don't even need to join a team fight. Because the gates are open. So enemy team is gonna be full panic mode now. Like this turret, for example... It's gone. That one is gone too. Nidalee is gonna be gone. <clears throat> Watch this Janna, okay? Oh, wait, combo onto him. Auto E to Telekaja. That's Machine Gun Mundo right there. And we're back to full HP. That's why Mundo skills. <laughs> this is so stupid. How much I did that have, by the way? How much I did that have? Yeah, that's Mundo. 722 AD. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's Mundo. Now, of course, this is extreme scenario. This is extreme scenario. But that's a potential the champion has. <laughs> that was nasty, I think. No. Yeah. Mundo has always been able to do this though. Well, we didn't have we didn't have this item before. I think this item Hello, is guys. completely Hello. unfair on Mundo. Hello. But mainly the fact you can war monks rush now is the most disgusting thing. Thank you, Goku, for the prime. Can I look take a look at total healing? Yes, I can. How do I do that? How do I take a look at Where is that setting?
Total healing. What is that shit, man? Am I am I blind in graphs? Oh wait, of course. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Total healing. Healing done. It's not it. By the way, why is that so little? Am I blind? Region doesn't count. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, then then I guess it's very little. Yo, Petu, old alloys, mechanical OTP, new alloys, teaching people how to abuse Mundo. Not wrong. Not wrong. But <laughs> and that's why I went to Korea at the start of the split. So I remind people that I'm still a good player. But I gotta figure it out. I haven't done solo coaching about now. <laughs> I remember a streamer once said. Perfect KDA means you are bad. XDD Piggy. Yeah, you're bad, Felix. Do you do coaching for support, Hyelo? No. If you want to support Hyelo coach, I would highly recommend checking out Lathyrus. Lathyrus. Yo, Revs, good to see you, brother. Do you take organs for payment? Bro. What course would you pick Gwen into? She's very good into certain tanks, especially if you need AP from topside. Champions like Poppy, Malphite, Sion, Mundo, all those champions. Yes, I will be playing another role next month. What up, mental bro? Is every game like this, waiting for Warmax and then repeating himself with every sentence? That one must do exactly that? Kind of! Throw some yo, but go try it yourself, see how easy it is to replicate. Is one-on-one -on -one coaching useful below diamond? Yes. So, okay. People always ask me, is coaching useful in this ELO bracket? You could ask the same question in Masters or in Silver, right? Now, the way that I would see coaching is coaching, or what a coach should do, is speed up the progression curve that you would have naturally gotten. So if you would have taken two years to go from gold to diamond, by coaching, my goal would be to get you there faster than two years. And I'm very confident that I can. So that is why coaching is good. And it doesn't really matter for me. I can coach an iron player. I could coach a, a, a grandmaster or a challenger player. So I think you got to perceive coaching as a method to basically speed up the, your natural progression curve. Fiora matchup. Very hard matchup. How much of your courses do you not usually cover on stream? Still plenty of information. The, the way that I would see the courses is... Whenever you're watching my stream, right, I am saying a lot of stuff, but it's all mixed up and it's all catered to the situation that you're seeing there. But uh, with my courses, it's like all the most important information that I have learned over the past eight years is summarized there. But it's also structured in a manner where you teach every concept individually. So like reset timers, jungle tracking. Uh, wave manipulation, all those things, and like second wave crash, short wave crash, four wave crash, and then you learn how to use all of them together uh, in harmony. So you learn how to play at your wave states with the jaw tracking and all this stuff, right? And it builds on top of each other. So that's how I see the courses. So I still, you still might have bits of uh, of information throughout watching my videos and streams. Yo, this guy says hello, hello, he's yo. But it's still, yeah, so uh, th that's how I would summarize my courses. Hello, I'm a Grandmaster Ivan OTP. When I'm filled top mid, I fall behind in CS. Any advanced for... What? Any advanced tips for CSing? I mean, I think it's actually just a skill that I find very hard to teach people because I can't direct how you right-click. Um, so that's very hard Back one. to stomping noobs. I see. My favorite content. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for the one, brother. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're playing against the Fiora. She's playing Conqueror, Resolve, Flash, Teleport, No Ignite this time. And we're playing against a Warwick. Both of them, especially if this guy goes Blade Root King, can be pretty tricky for me. Uh, they have a shit ton of healing this game in the top side. So this might be a game where I can consider Thormill as a third item above um, Unending Despair. So what we could do this game is Warwick's Hearts Dew, have a Bramble Vest in between, and then finish it up with a Thormill. Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, Final Destiny, I've done a full unranked to master on Aatrox, and that is still on my YouTube. Kaulea, thank you for the primer, brother. Good to see you, Jipalski. Uh, yo, Paku, you good to see you, brother. I always struggle with set every time I feel like I can't say this or it just stuns me and full combos. Set is definitely is one of the harder champions to lane against because he's a very good stat check too, but yeah, he has extremely high cooldowns. So what I'd recommend if you struggle so much with set is play five games with set yourself and then you'll understand his weaknesses better too. Okay, right, guys, now I'm gonna focus on the game. Uh, like I said, we're playing against a Fiora. There is no intention for me to trade with Fiora. She beats me in small trades, she beats me in extended fights. So I lose if I ever trade. What I want to do, and I say this every game, I'm gonna repeat myself. I wanna get pushed in the early game. Because when I get pushed in, I'm not- Oh, she gets XP from that, by the way. I'm not forced to walk up for last hits. When I'm not forced to walk up for last hits, it's easy for me to just farm. I'm never under pressure, and I gotta make sure I'm full HP so I can play at the belt. She's gonna get level 2 in the first wave, so I have to be careful now. It's cool aid, I see. My eyes hurt a little bit, I need some eye drops. I'll get later. Okay, so I am completely satisfied just getting pushed in here. Hey, uh, my cat wants to get on my desk. I don't want that shit. Okay, I might just go E start here. So I get the... Beautiful. I think that's a better adaptation there. It's hard for me to get the Cassis now. A reminder, she's gonna get level 2 here, right? On the first means. Because she gets the fill 6 passive, it actually grants XP. So I have to be careful here. Um, I'm not gonna hit this minion because it would kind of push the wave back a little bit to her, right? And I really want to make sure that this pushes into me, so I'm gonna last it at the latest frame here. This is gonna give me level 2, and then I can get the melee. Beautiful! And I'm completely happy getting pushed in. So what could Fiora have done different? Try and zone me from the first three means worth of XP. That would be their best play. Right? That could win her matchup at level 1. But I haven't ha I played against a single player that knows how to zone Mundo from the first three means worth of XP, right? Which is one of the core fundamentals that I always yap and talk about. Alright, she's doing a 4-wave crash here. So what I do now is the latest frame possible, I'll be putting a ward here. So I know what she's going to do after crashing this wave. Oh, there we go. It's beautiful. She used Q that on the mean, so I can kind of maybe look for a grass proc here. Just one, though. Use W at the start to absorb all the damage. That was a massive W. Maybe should have hit her to get the grass proc. Shouldn't trade too much, though, because I want to be able to play at the bounce here. Do I get this with the auto? No. Okay. She's farmed very well. She got 23 out of 25, so we got a game better. We got 21 out of 25, so also not bad. And now, this wave, I want to try and hard push. Fiona's best play would have been to base teleport back, because if she had done so, she can try and freeze here, right? And then it would be very hard for me to crash this. And then, uh, yeah, I'm very much forced to walk for last hits here. Doesn't look like she based... Oh, I got a predictive one here. Ho, ho, ho! Bitch. Bitch. I deserve the win here. That is unfair though. Oh yeah. Classic. Oh, she just did it though. Oh please, get it! Shoot that bitch! Shoot her! No! I'll go Bramble. I'll try it. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, they're pushing this wave together. That's not too bad for me though, because they actually still cannot crush it. This is not too bad for me. This is actually completely fine. Ooh. Fiddle, are you gonna do that? Oh, you're crazy. I won't say what's going through my mind right now. I'll keep my mouth shut. Dude, I was actually- look, like I said, I was still ahead in CS. I was still ahead in the XP. She didn't even get the kill, so I was like, vibing. Until that guy just had a stroke, by the way. It's alright, happens, hey! It happens! It happens! It happens, guys! Put a smile on your face! She has team out. Do not put a smile on your face. Just FF the game, right now. On the spot. Kidding, guys. The right, CS. Yes. We're vibing. I'm gonna hold the wave here. It's gonna cost me some HP, but at least... I can play for someone free now. 
guess that's gonna mean that next wave comes here too which is gonna give me an easier time to play out this eventual bounce here water getting super fat kind of sucks for me because he's tricky to deal with i do outscale him but he is tricky to deal with and then i'm gonna slope his wave i'm gonna hit level six and i'll use that level six kind of as like a two to uh, get the crush in here and then i can get double ruby crystal and then i'm gonna be in a good spot I misplayed that pretty hard. Yeah, it's not a good coach I guess she just beats me with the red buff through the level six, good. so now I have a lot of problems. Fundamentals FTW. I've Yo. been enjoying playing League again in top lane because of your. Aww. Thank you for all your educational content and all your effort. Oh, you, bro. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your support. It's mutual. Without your support, I wouldn't be here. So thank you so much, brother. I got a recall here. She has ult. She can look for the plant in the river. Get full mana, full HP. I got a recall. It sucks that she has Tiamat, so she can look for the plate if she wants to. But yeah, I have to base and walk back. If I don't, I'm just stuck. I can't play out this bounce. And I'm against Agron. Wish me luck. Good luck in games. Good luck, bro. Look, she looked for plant, right? That's a full HP mana. And yeah, she can look for the plate here. I need to take the small loss and get my reset in. Because else I couldn't play. Thank you again, K Sony, for the primary brother. Well done, Poodle Hex D. <clears throat> yeah, I lost the full wave in the plate, but I have to. Now at least I can stop a play. Good W there. Blocked all our damage. Got a good trade in. Beautiful. Got a dodge your W, maybe. She didn't use it. Alright, she can't really crash this, so that is why my wrist was so important here. Now, I could freeze or hard push. The reason I'm going to hard push here is so that I can look for the plate. If I freeze, sure I would deny her a wave, right? Uh, and the wave would stay frozen at my side, but if I hard push here, she would still lose this full wave because it's gonna die to a turret. But additionally, I get a plate, and I get the wave to bounce back into me because I crash it into a turret here. So here, in those two options, it is of course much better for me to actually just crash the wave and get a plate, instead of just freezing here. Okay, beautiful. I do delay my works with 800 gold by going for Bramble. I haven't tried it yet. This is the first time I've ever had Bramble on Mundo so early. So I'm just kind of testing it here to see if I like it. She's going to try and run me down here probably. The wave's gone though. So I think we're alright. She can't kill me. I'm a bad bitch. Boys. I got the plate. I got the wave so she doesn't really have much to trade with. Uh, Fiddle's coming topside, but Warwick... Oh, he's going Blade on King, by the way. I might need my Fiddle here. I might need Fiddle here. And she's looking for a ward. Evades. But it's gonna give me enough time to push in this wave. Unless she just walks away. Bro, my Fiddle's grieving me so hard. Respectfully. Oh, one for one is fine. And the wave is... I don't know, actually. I'm gonna figure it out. I think we might do this. Okay, the wave is good. This is alright. This is alright. This song is kind of making me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. This is more better. This is more better. Good English. Noise. How to lane against Darius? Don't lose in the early game. Don't give him a pass if you win. Yeah, what else can I say? It's kind of hard to try and visualize it. You can't all in her, bro. I mean, I did have Volta, right? It was hard, but the kill trip was good. Yo, Clara, welcome. We're still 26 subs, so it's good. Yes, I did watch football. And then I went out into the city and it was a complete banger. It was, it was like an anarchy in the Netherlands. It was a lot of fun. Okay, you gotta chill here. Vital against the wall, so she can't get a good trade here. Well, that was a nice setup. Okay, 1.1k gold, I get my Warmox. She's gonna have her Hydra at around the same time as well. Uh, I'll have Teleport to get a reset, so keep that in mind. Man, she keeps sidestepping my Qs.
How did that W land? I'm gonna flash E and she's gonna... Okay. If that E landed, I think she was dead to the Q. It's okay. She's gonna base teleport. I have to hyper stack so I can reset as well, but she could TP on the way if she's actually smart. War could be here as well. I'm gonna flip that work isn't here. And if I die, I die my turn. War for sure isn't here, isn't he? Okay, I land the E. Massive. She's close to level 9, probably. So she's gonna get 100 HP from that. I shouldn't die. Oh, there he is. Well, I mean, I flipped the light. Like I said, I do die on my turn at least. No, oh, he's old. I don't even get assist. I do. Oh, bad. At Alois mm. underscore NL, you playing with Flash on purpose I am. or by yes. mistake again? No, I'm actually playing with Flash on purpose. Thank you very Where do I live in the Netherlands? I live very close to Amsterdam. Uh, yeah, because I Bramble, I actually don't get Warmogs now, so I'm not sure how much of a fan I am of the Bramble. I think I dislike it, actually. I don't think I'll, I'll rush Bramble anymore. I think I just rush Warmogs next time. Yeah, no, I live I live in Harlem. I don't mind saying that. It's uh, next to Amsterdam. I got a Harpish this wave, Harpish next wave, and reset. And I have Warmogs. Who do I think will win the Euros? Netherlands, bro. Cope. Not even... Yeah, Netherlands will win, bro. No cope. Coping. Nice. Get away from me, man. She has Hydra. I need to get my warmogs. <laughs> yeah, no, Harlem is extremely expensive. <laughs> Look at my room, bro. I live with my family right now, though. I want to get my own place. Summer towards the end of the summer. She's freezing with a warmogs. Makes no sense here, by the way. She could have just played for the plate. Freezing makes no sense. To be fair, if I had to make a correct guess, I think Spain wins the Euros. But uh, let's see, Netherlands, Netherlands can make it. Uh, the last time I really watched football was 2010, and then the Netherlands lost against Spain in the finals. Okay, let's focus. We have Warmox. She has a lot of sustain as well. I think I just beat her though. Alright, this is an alright trade. We both trade ults, but I'm gonna heal with Warmox. I land the E there. So she, she heats with Hydra, but I heal with Warmox. I think mine just use a little bit more. And we're back to full HP. Warmogs get baby. Back to full HP we go. That's how you win every matchup. You need Warmogs. And then you win. I don't want to get hit by him. I mean... I kited the cannon actually. He didn't proc my Warmogs. Beautiful. We're in a good spot now. Yeah, I mean, you lost in a... Uh, Spain scored in the minute 118, right? Sucks, man. Suck now, but I mean, honestly, guys, Netherlands had a really easy approach. Well, really easy, I wouldn't say, but we avoided France, Spain, Germany, Portugal, and we had to play against Romania and Turkey. I'm not saying they're bad teams, but I think they're uh, not as hard as the other uh, angle. So, yeah, we kind of got lucky in that regard. I might be able to get this. No, her ult goes back a little faster than mine. Mundo ult is a very high cooldown. Okay, I want to try to get the full turret. Trading HP is alright, right? Right, 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 because I have Warmogs, right? There we go. The movement speed from just Warmogs is also crazy. I've reduced 1300 healing. That's not that bad, actually. Okay, bro. Hydra's a cheat code. We have ult here on next wave, but the Warmog might be coming top on as well. I just want to get the turret, but I have Bramble, so if she hits me, she'll get hit by Bramble, and then I actually deal damage, so I can't really hit the turret. What do I max? What do you mean? You max, you put three points of Q, and then you max E. <laughs> yes, the client is working. I've played Mundo against Darius already a few times, so you can watch my votes on that, if you want to. I'm gonna wait till I'm low HP, and only then do I ult, guys. The lower HP, the more you heal directly. So now I ult. And we're gonna run her down. Oh. 
My champion is just brainless, man. Like, it is so unskilled in terms of mechanics. And also, she dies now on my turn. Okay, when I have a wave. So her whole tier 2 is gone now, too. And she's just cooked. I get way too much gold from this. So I killed her turret and her. And I also get almost the whole tier 2 turret. I might even be able to get it because I've demolished again. And this is just a death sentence for her, right? You don't come back from this. And then I just buy, go bot. Like, but that tier 2, game over. Again, it's legit the same as last game. Once I get Warbucks, <laughs> you just get one good play, and now I'm Thanos again. This guy's bored, so I gotta be careful. Are you going to lose your rhythm skills at the Brain Nautical Mundo? You know, I did so much educational gameplay last year, and I went to Korea, and I get ranked 12 anyways, so I don't think I will. But yeah, the rest of the year, I'm mainly gonna be doing educational content, because I just think it's better, and I want to play some other roles too. Okay, so we get these two items, and uh, like I said, I'll probably finish Thornmill. Instead of going for Island Despair, then probably don't need Spirit Visage because they only have one AP who is 0 3. So then I'll probably go Thormio into Titanic Hydra. And uh, we're chilling. I we can watch this guy pretty much. Did he ward? Sure, we did. I have too much movement speed. No setups. I feel sorry, man. Like, my champion is so disgusting, and I drop to this HP, you go away for 5 seconds, you heal back the fool with Warmox. I don't know, man. It genuinely just feels so brainless. And I think one of the biggest issues, unironically, is that this 5% movement speed on Warmox. I don't know how they decided to give movement speed on Warmox, but it is so disgusting, because this gives me shit on movement speed, then I get 5% from Warmox, and I have approach velocity as well. So I had 1Q, and somebody just cannot run away from me anymore. I, s I hate having Warmox now. This guy's dead, by the way, if he doesn't respect. Wait. Watch Fiora, though. I'm gonna do the slipper combo on him. I'm kidding. Holy, I'm ending. She actually did so much damage randomly. Sorry, back to full HP, baby. Back to full HP, I guess. What about you, Fiora? Oh, sucks. I don't know, this champion is still fair. It really is! See, the hardest part about Mundo is just not dying in your lighting phase and staying somewhat even. But again, going even is winning. Look at my movement speed. Yeah. Again, that movement speed is crazy. Good damage? Well, I might be dead actually. No, we're chilling. Her ult goes away. And let's go back to full HP. She's half HP again. <laughs> like, it's so brainless, right? Just don't die, and you're always back to full HP. You can't get pushed out. You don't have mana. You have permanent HP. Also, there's so little sustain in the game anyways. I mean, I've been playing against some good sustaining champions today. We had, like, Fiddlesticks, Trinimir Fiora. But let's say I play against something that doesn't even sustain. How do you match this? Like, legit. Let's say it was, like, a Darius. She just has to recall. I get turned. Oh, wait, never mind. She'll admit. Oh, GG. Maybe we can actually climb to Challenger on Mundo. But I'm not sure I want to go all the way to Challenger climb. Because then it's going to be like such a sweaty grind fest. I'd have to make like another series for that. I want to do two Master. And then probably play Set. I think Set is also equally disgusting right now. I've been playing with Warmox on site for months. Saying it's broken and people only realize now it's free low. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I, I, I wasn't aware until like a week ago. I was rushed hard to you. Now I'm rushing Warmox. The champion just becomes crazy. Okay, we have Hornlime and enemy team. Goodbye, Hornlime. <laughs> Hello, Fiora. You still wanna go? Mention! Yo, Horlam, buff your champion, bro. Nah, buff, buff work, buff work. My bad. My bad. I'm gonna have this. And I'm never quite sure if this... I, I believe this is almost better to build. Because I will literally get more AD. Yeah. But how much AD do I get? Instead of 15, I get... How much did I have? 7... 
So what's that? I can't calculate. What is happening with my brain? Okay, 273, 780. How about this? I have my brain! 273 and I go to 297. 24. Oh, easy. Alright, let's go. I just kept forgetting the original number. It wasn't even a matter of calculation. I just kept forgetting the original number, by the way. I'm losing IQ cells playing Mundo. True. Well, you don't want to mess with me, bro. I'm a bad bitch. I should lose IQ cells playing Mundo. Oh, Pike. Leon is also disgustingly fast because of Warmogs. What? Two friendly Warmox abusers in this neighborhood. <whistles> like the full speed, baby. Get in. Oh, you have Lord Doms? Oh, armor pen. To be fair, probably best to just do Nasher. But if I land Q, he's dead. The reason I want Alois to say is because he's small and people take him seriously. Well played. I want to do Slipper combo on him. Slipper combo. Auto E, baby. I keep getting my passive. This guy's dead too. My champion is so stupid. I have 350 AD. This guy's three items has less AD. Mind you, I've only built HP again. Like a three item S0 has less AD. 14 kills. Less AD. Raccoon Do, check your prime. <clears throat> I wish I would have known about um, Warmox Mundo in Korea. I knew Eddie was building it, but I didn't think it was good enough, so I kept going hard to you. But that's one of the biggest mistakes I've ever done. Oh, almost had him. Uh oh. Wait, Hoi did so much damage to me. It's okay. I can speak from silver players. First item farm is most changing when you don't see us good enough. Yeah, the problem with this is <clears throat> that last inning or CS thing is just a skill I cannot coach people how to do. I can coach them the mindset that they need to have, right? And like the general idea, but I actually can't teach people how to right click appropriately. So that I don't really have a fix or like an idea to that on how to approach that. It's like, I always say that last thing is like your foundation. If you ever watched, uh, what's it called? Karate Kid, he was like, wax on, wax off. Last thing is like your foundation is a soul laner. Uh, Final Destiny, I'm not sure if I'll do Alawi. She doesn't have a high play with right now. I also want to do champions that I think are either really good or have high play rate. <clears throat> yeah. I can just end the game though by going to their base. Yes, I'm considering doing Volibear on rank 2 masters and Set. Volibear and Set are champions that I have on radar. And then lastly, maybe Riven again. <clears throat> I did one on Riven last year and that one did amazing. That's where we started the on rank 2 masters series and it got received extremely well, so maybe I do another Riven one. Urgold is another one. Urgold, Volibear, Set are kind of on my radar. Uh, by the way, guys, <laughs> let's just do this brainless thing. Enemies like, Wouldn't they be like, Mm. The reason I want Alois to say is because he's small and big. Juju. Akepalos, you, Tabor T1, brother. 
Set would be fire. Set is the champion that I probably want to do next. You know the champion has extremely high play rate and still a very high win rate and lower MR2, which is uh, which is a very surprising combo to get in general. <clears throat> Wait, I had this guy again, like last game. Peekaboo. He into me. So he gets an honor. Wait, let me check. What is like the highest play rate champions to watch the lower MR? Alright, let's do a check. Let's do some check checking together. So let's go like silver, right? <laughs> My goats. You see, Seth has a 9% pick rate, Garrett as well. Nasus pick rate is surprisingly high. Alright. Okay, people are picking up, eh? Oh, Yorick is crazy high win rate on Iron. Holy shit. 55 is ridiculous, but like, genuinely, if this guy, if, if Yorick is picked in Iron, enemy have a 45% chance, chance to win, statistically. GG, I was the Vlad GG, brother. Uh, people picked up on the Mundo. S plus every single elo. I guess towards Emerald, he starts getting harder to play, right? Because, um, what's it called? People start understanding how to punish you in lane better. Oh, Kled. I haven't fa faced Kled yet, but I guess Kled is also really hard, yeah. Uh, but you see here, set still S plus here. 7.5% pick rate. 7.8% pick rate. Holy moly, he gets played so much, actually. Riven is good. Not in lower MMRs. If you look here, Riven will probably be one of the lowest. There she is. Why is Riven always solo elo? Or uh, solo elo? Solo win rate and e lower elo? Because she's a champion that has... It, she is forced to go ahead, kind of, in lane. You don't want to be even or behind as Riven. With Mundo, it's fine. Uh, you have no sustain in lane, so you're playing a champion with very little... Uh, fallback patterns, no sustain, one mistake, you're cooked. So that's why Revenish is harder to master. I bought your course a few weeks ago and I climbed from Iron 2 to Gold 3 and keep climbing. I think Plat may be possible in the season. Thank you very much. Pay Chatter! No, but in all seriousness, GDC Mank, well done. Well done your progression in the... That is always amazing to hear. I appreciate it, brother. Boss, I won't get it. Well done, brother. Will they make an unranked to Masters to Cassante as well in the future? I'm not sure. How much has Cassante even played? Like, this champion has historically always been the worst champion in, towards lower MMRs. I don't see why I would make... You know, I've never played a Cassante game in my life, but I also don't see why I would make it a Cassante series. Because this champion has always had the lowest win rate. He's low pick rate in lower MMR. And I wouldn't advise anybody to play that champion. Cassante is one of the hardest mechanical intensive champs to play. Although that sounds funny to say, it is true. And it's a champion that does well in pro play and in high elo, but in low MMR, it's not a good champion to play. Oh, I have my life. Sorry. Man, thank you for the prime, brother. Less than three. Less than three. What do I think of Tristana top? Tristana top is a range top. You play Tristana top, you are a pig. Questions? No. Thought so. I need eye drops. Also, I need to take my vitamins. The Santa will probably get a rework. Could be, yeah. That champion gets into, like, uh, what's it called? Patches? Like, 50% of the patches since released. Rangers heard that? Make sure he hears that. I come into Rangers stream today. Out of anything I would expect. Jax. Darius, Return the he's playing Kai'Sa top against what? A Riven! Get the guy banned. Oh, by the way, Mundo shits on Talia. There is nothing Talia can do against Mundo. What is that emote? Singe guide when? Holy moly, what are all these new emotes? I don't know. By the way, guys, if they're not gonna start picking percentage health damage, if they're gonna pick stuff like Karma Talia, this game is gonna be over really quick. Misfortune, also no percentage health damage. The game is already looking extremely easy from my perspective. 
There's not many mid lane champions that can destroy me. Um, unless it's like Talia mid. But uh, this Jarvis is looking extremely good for me. Scion guide when? I have some Scion videos on my YouTube channel. Bro, I mean, this has, I think only QQ, guys, this game is so over, so over, by the way. See, this matchup isn't the easiest during laning phase, but he also can't really pu push me down, right? So, just listen. If I go even, I will 1v9 this game, in this draft. AP, his Q is physical, but doesn't matter, mainly magic damage. Magic damage, magic damage, full AP topset against Amundo, you're cooked. 0% health damage, I think only his brittle, but I can like dodge it, QQ here, no percentage health damage here. So I'm gonna be rushing only HP this game and they don't have any champion or really items that they're going to be building to counteract my HP, okay? Then I win side lane, both against Huey and Orn. my build path is extremely easy, I go Warmox, Heart Steel, Spirit Visage, nobody will be able to damage me, then I go build some... Titanic Hydra and or Warden's Blood Mill and I'll carry this game. All I do is go even, right? So my head, my my mindset going into this game as Mundo, I know that I outskill everybody in this draft. And this is important to know your champion, right? Because if I know that I outskill every champion, I switch my mentality going into the laning phase. All I need to do is farm even, because I will outskill them. So if I'm even, I am winning. If I'm slightly behind, it is kind of to be expected. Now, if I'm ahead in CS, the game is over. I don't need any kills on this Mundo. All I need to do is farm well. So my entire mindset in this game is just farming. Farm, farm, farm. Oh, that kind of sucks. I don't even get assists, but I get XP. And you get 2%, which basically will allow me to get level 2 from the first 6 million. So that's still all right. Uh, I could have considered going E start into Mundo, which is, or into Orn, if he doesn't start in late instantly, but it's still completely fine. Uh, I get a ward down to see where the Talia is starting, so I know how to pilot my early game wave states. And like I said, even in farm is winning because I will outskill. If I have war mocks when we're even, I can start getting plates because he can never kill me anymore, and I will see. Why not Ghost? Ghost could have been better. I see Briefcase Man running Flesh every single game, so I'm trying it a little bit more. And Briefcase Man is the Challenger Mundo one trick that we have on the server. If you guys don't know who Briefcase Man is, here, you can check him out real quick. Uh, SO Briefcase Man. He's an amazing content creator. <laughs> I've watched him a bit. Sometimes he's unhinged, but other than that, he's the GOAT, so go check him out. Alright, Talia is patting into top, Kha'Zix is patting into bot, which means we are theoretically weak side of this game. Meaning Kha'Zix is gonna be bot side when Talia is top side, and that's why we are on the weak side, so to speak. And so getting pushed in is completely fine here. If I had E, I could contest more, because my auto attacks would deal more damage. Okay, now I hate myself, by the way. Alright. He only got two items as well, so we're fine. Q start. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna get cooked here. I didn't see his level up. I thought I would get mine, but it's okay. Yeah, we lost more than half of our, our HP, which is uh, which is bad, but it's okay. It's not gonna have any massive drawbacks because I'm just getting pushed in anyways, which means I'm not forced to walk up for last hits, which means he can't really punish me harder anyways. And all we gotta do is stay even in CS, guys. That's it, right? Even is winning. Even is winning. Keep that mentality in your brain. Try to see how we can optimize this angle here. I can get all three like that. You got level three, though. And again, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the means. So, I mean, I got hard punished by the one here. Well played by him. Reminder, Talia is coming top side and my Kha'Zix is both sides. So, I do have to be aware of getting potentially dove here. And as a result, I'll pop my potion so I can potentially escape a dive angle here. <clears throat> I can't read that massive message in chat. I'm sorry, brother. I can't read that while summoning game. If you want to ask me again after the game, I'll happily help you out. Please do some more damage to it so I can actually kill this with the Q. Beautiful. Yep. We're pretty much 
safe here, right? And this is why I was happy getting pushed in, because by getting pushed in, it's harder to gank me because I'm not forced to walk up flasses. The only th threat they do have against me is potentially diving me. So that's why I'm just not looking to get any damage taken and I use my potion. Ugh, wow, this guy is very aggressive. But yeah, like I said, this matchup is actually... Oh, okay, well... I didn't even see your W. I played that as poor as I could have. In every regard. Because I said I should never... Okay. You know, guys? I, I got punished there. And I knew it was going to happen. I knew the threats. I played it worse. I got chunked to below 50% before the dive. I, I, I didn't even dodge the Talia W when I had flash. I didn't even see it. I was too focused on explaining my perspective. And too focused on the gameplay instead of, like, actual playing. Well, that's my bet there. Oh, just horrible play by me. But that is why you don't trade when you're on the weak side. So I got punished. Well played by enemy team. And then I flushed when I was already dead. So just horrific gameplay here. I'm level 5 to level 4 though. So this trade can actually be beneficial for... Oh, if I land that, I might even have kill pressure. He flashes. But Kha'Zix can trade here. Any plans to do an unranked to master on Trindamir? Maybe. I said Trindamir sets. Uh, Trindamir sets. Okay. No. I, I, I have grief this lightning face. Okay. Well, we're even in CS, but we're 0 now. I don't know why I'm fighting so hard. Uh, I, I'm going to do set. Um, Riven, Urgot, and a Trindamir, maybe. They were 100. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah, this is just completely my bad. I shouldn't be fighting. Um, from this point onwards, my mindset should shift from, uh, you know, I'm behind now. I'm two kills down. Uh, all to my own mistakes, right? Nothing uh, else. It's just all my own mistakes. Uh, all I have to do now is make sure I don't even fall further behind. So we're going to be playing completely trade avoidant again. All we're going to do is try out, and I'm going to slow push this wave so I can hard push that wave as well. And I'm going to play my waves in a manner where I just never have to trade. I will still skill into enemy draft. But I've made the game much harder for myself. I'm down so much gold now. For nothing. Whilst, whilst I could've just been even as well. Okay, if Twisted Fate is here though, then we can fight. But this is like a blessing that I shouldn't get. This is also Orn making a giant blunder. Because he is playing super aggressive whilst he has a lead. And he dies on my turn. Which is the biggest mistake you can do in a game. If you die on your opponent's turn, not only do you die. But you're also going to lose a wave. And I'm going to have access into plates, so... Uh, yeah, I am lucky with Orn making a mistake, but at the same time, um, I mean, we can learn from that still, right? On what not to do. He should not be contesting that wave. He had no idea where my mid and or jungler were at. It was my turn in the wave, and, and now I'm actually ahead again. So that's good. Aloy seems distracted. Maybe he slept bad. Well, I've been yapping for four hours in a row. I didn't have the best sleep, though. Like I said, I went out last night because... Um, the Netherlands won, and it was full anarchy in the city. I went to sleep at like 3 a.m. That's alright, I still got 8 hours of sleep, so it's quite alright. <clears throat> okay. I mean, now we're in a good position. Talia died, and Kha'Zix is taking her top side, so there's not a real big intention for her, or incentive rather, for her to come into top side. This way, she's pushing it to me. But of course, welcome for last hits. So, chilling. So uh, we're mainly just looking to get Warmox. If we farm for 1k more gold, he has... I mean, what is he building, really? Sunfire? He has this as well. I'm not sure what he's going to be building. Twisted Fate is looking again. That's kind of crazy. I don't think we can get to kill this guy. Wow, we actually do kill him. That is so ridiculous. Thank you. I mean, that's just lucky, right? Usually I don't... He just knows things I don't, my bad bro, I'm sorry. I should recall. The reason I recall is because if I stay for this plate, I lose this bound timer and then Orn gets a plate as well. I don't lose a plate here by recalling. And then I lose nothing. So it's much better to just recall here instantly. And then I can use my teleport. And Alois underscore NLMI restarted or is Mundo not very good into Alawi? 
Uh, no, you're not restarted. Uh, thank you for the tier 1. What you do against Alawi is you farm even, then you get the watermarks, and then you win. In fact, I played against Team No Way in scrims against Sartorius. He picked Mundo- he picked Alawi into my Mundo, and uh, yeah, you can see that game if you want to. It's on YouTube. I thought my playlist was playing for a second. I got YouTube out to play. Alright guys, so we're just farming onto Warmox. And then when we have Warmox, we're gonna base TP back. And we have uh, five plated gameplay again. Well, I'm kind of lucky that the Twisted Fate just uh, helped me get back into the game here. How do you counterplay a Lawi ult? Don't get hit by Z. There you go. He can still do so much damage to me. That's alright though. Now if I have Warmox, right? This trade is just crazy because I heal back to full. So these guys just wait a little bit. Oh, I have my... Ooh, one more. Big mama trade. We have our teleport in a second though. That's all we're waiting for. Unlucky. I think I base TP just to be safe, right? I've already made plenty of mistakes this game. Let's not make another one. We're playing around Emerald MR and we're getting towards a diamond. All right, guys, we have the item. This is all you need. Let's see how brainless we can make it go. Remember, we're one, two, and one, 10 CS down. That's it. Let's see how much we can. Bro, what? Run. Or back to full HP at least. Can I get a rest in peace in chat for Twitch's fate? Can I get a salute in chat for Twisted fate? I think Orn has teleport, so I can't really progress much here. It would be insane if we can get this, these grubs as well, but I think Talia will play for them. Yeah, she has teleport. It's fine, I can watch those waves. And we can trade as much as we want to now because we have warm mook, so you should not trade, literally. And uh, yeah. This is how the game is gonna go going forward. Oh, guys, he took half my HP. Oh no, give me this grasp, bitch. <laughs> Alright, guys, we both lost half our HP. And now we do the chill session. We chill a bit. He still have HP. Lord Voldemort, what are doing? I'm full HP, buddy. You wanna die? Lord Voldemort, the fuck are you doing, bro? Crack K. Alright, he almost killed me. Give me sec. Give me sec. Give me sec. Give me sec. Alrighty. Ain't this brain that day? Or, uh, or did you not see my HP? What are you doing? Did you not see my HP back to full or what? It's not a magic trick. He's like, hmm, I'm fight. Oh, guys, another classic game where we're pretty much even. I get Warmox, I 2v1 them, I take their whole turret. It is, a, it is just consistent. What was the counterplay for the one? Did he play bad? I mean, he shouldn't have traded. But yeah. Full turret. I, I, like, what was it? Two minutes ago that I based the Pete? Maybe not even two minutes ago. I have 2.5k gold again. There we go. I'm waiting for 3k gold, by the way. I'm not resting until I have 3k gold so I can get heart steel. I can, oh, I can start proking the heart steel stacks. And then... I can start taking over the map. I'm doing as much damage as I can because on the next rotation, I'll just do that shit under his nose and there's nothing he can do about it. So, uh, look, what is Orr gonna do about this? <clears throat> Alright, I'm pressing e, actually.
And the better, best part about this is like, once we're done with all this, I just run away and we with warm ups, right? So it's like, what can you realistically do? There you go! And we're back to full HP. We got tier 2 turrets. Alright, now it's time to expand the lead. Bit and bot. Get this shit. Like I said, they're pretty much full. Is this guy going Bork? Not bad, actually. But I won't do. I won't help. She can't. She's like kind of melee range, right? She can't really kill me. Okay, it's hard to kind of progress. I'm gonna go bot lane. Sorry, brother. Thank you, sir. I think this guy's recalling, so I'm gonna use the fact that she's recalling to get the turret on this wave. I went into rank first time Mundo with this build and won. Congratulations. Yo, brother, I feel good to see you. Bloodthirster? Oh, you are right. I'm a piggy. Well, Bloodthirster won't really do much against me. Alright, guys, I have 230 AD. Chill. Like I said, Misfortune was recalling, so I'm going to use that tempo opportunity to get this turret. And, uh, no, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Looks like she's went mid. That's all good. Got top tier 1, got top tier 2, recalled, bot tier 1, and bot tier 2. And, uh, game over. Huh? Oh. That's Hawaii. She has Saros, but I don't think she has it actually. So she, she can like defend. Now she's gonna get a rude awakening that I'm Mundo. She's gonna feel like, wait a second, how's this fair? Now she's gonna ask Riot Games how can play. I need to get my ult. I mean, I might not be able to. Oh, I need to flash. Also, I won't get it. I need ult. I think I can turn this. Are you guys ready? I'll turn this. Alright, stop, bitch. My turn. Ay, 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 ay! Alright, Mundo's weak, buff it. How did they kill me? I guess I just have zero armor. Yeah, I just have zero armor. Look, I have negative armor. It's fine. Four items. Haha! <laughs> 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 Funny. Streamer died. My bad. Bro can in fact not turn this. Where, where were all the messages when you guys said, Wow, Alois, smart Rico, and a nice macro that you went bot and got two turrets. Well done, Alois. Good job, streamer. Where were you guys then, eh? That's what I thought. Oh, good, bro. <laughs> Yo, Serious, legit. <laughs> Look how much idea I have. <laughs> how you doing, Serious, brother? Do I think Merch will be better this game? Nah. I would go to war for scenarios. True. Alright. I mean, if they're not gonna stop me, I'll just push turrets, I guess. Dragon? Nah. Money. Yeah. I'm businessman at the end of the day. Give me a shit. Oh, Miss Fortune, please don't kill me. Alright, bye, babe. She must be scared of me. I'll be scared of me. I don't vault, guys. Oh, I got a flash. Alright, let's recall. I'll do the same thing on mid. Actually, wait a second. I'll be full HP by the time I arrive. Give me a second here. Wait a second. Hmm. Karma, get away from me. Arts 2. No, you bitch! What? Bro, all my dopamine got the. Like, that was. That was my moment! Alright, misfortune come over here. Like, I need some dopamine now. That is so anti fun. Oh, thank you. Okay, now I feel better. Thank you. I feel better. Oh, 
Alrighty, so we can get this, and most importantly, I can also get a chain vest, so we'll be unkillable. Once I have Unending Despair, I am genuinely gonna be unkillable. So, I have two kills, three deaths, right? But I'm by far the richest person in this game, with more than three items, which are even expensive items, because I just got all the turrets, and I still have pretty good farm. Alright. Do I just keep splitting bots? Like, what are they gonna do about it? Hello, guys. You're a long cord, you your prime brother? In the top lane. How do we get people this kind love. of music? <laughs> Blood mail is good, but it's not as good as these items. Being tankier is better than damage. I already do enough damage. I'll show you how much damage I do. Okay, maybe I should group a little bit more. The homies are dying. Shit, not paying attention enough. I'm still too fast though. Back to full HP, bitch. <laughs> Lord Voldemort! Watch this combo. Oh, who's that? This one? Dish. 5v1, by the way. Not too shabby. Just wait till I have another despair. I mean, they have so much to see, actually. Maybe Merge was better. I was CC for 6 seconds there. Yeah, I was legit CC for 6 seconds. Wait, Mundo, he goes for 20 seconds. My Nautilus is a goat. <laughs> Wait, Mundo. That guy deserves a birthday cake. Okay, I need a little bit more gold. I think it's a good skirmish. They have no misfortune. Bro, oh, Karma, get off me. I need Lord Bore the Mold here. That's one. We get the Harry Potter. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Very good. Do you guys want to fight? Like, I'm down. Skilled Mundo. Problem. Come here, bitch, fight me. Come on. That's the thing, guys. I don't really have kills this game. I just got all turrets. Which is enough. Oh, I say, guys, don't really damage. Now, we are gonna go for... This guy's just dead. Alright, I'll play them real quick. <clears throat> There's nothing Tali I can do. Wait, isn't she just dead as well? Maybe not. Maybe I'm too greedy. Maybe, maybe I'm too greedy here. Guys, type 1 in chat if I should get all in despair. Type 2 in chat if I should get Titanic Hydra. I could do both now. I could get Titanic Hydra. Because I got money. Wait, Kevin. Oh, might not get there. Harry Potter. All right, we recall. I will recall. Actually, maybe wait, we do not I think we do not I actually don't, so don't think we should. I think we should go for Dragon, yeah. I think if I instantly push, we would have ended. My bad. No, guys, I won't go on ending. And Sterox. 
I'll go with Titanic Hydra and then I'll end in despair. And then I'll sell War Mokes and I'll transition that into Warden's Blood Marrow and then GG. Wasn't there an option for Riot to give you a diamond and water count? Like, what is the reason to stomp piss elo? It's so shit for the league community. I can see that point, by the way. And I agree to you to a certain extent. However, the way I see it is that I'm helping infinitely more people by showcasing how I play around their MMRs as well. And, um, yeah, that, that's basically my takeaway. So, ultimately, I mean, I played, what, two games in silver? But I still think those two games in silver are very, um... Good for actual silver players to see how I still apply every same concept in their elo in uh, to help them in that manner. So there's that. Why sell warmox? Because the other items with giving resistance are actually just better. I ult very early here. I think yeah, Titanic Hydra actually procs and kills her. I f get feared, so I walk away. This. I can do Machine Gun Mundo combo here. Auto E, Titanic Hydra. Woo! I almost killed all of them. Even the guy standing behind. Goodbye, brother. Salute. Beautiful. Well, we started off this game very poorly, but I already told you that in this game, I will outskill anybody. And we did just that. <clears throat> Can you coach Quinn69? Sure. Is he still play League? I know he watched my Ganon video. I'm down to coach him. If he wants to, I'm very much down. Alright, this secret list in account did some sneaky roam stop and uh, blessed me, so there's that. Let's go. Also, I think the basically showcasing every single game on stream. Denji, thank you for the prime. Where I go from silver yeah, pretty much to uh, master. Good. He's playing Garrett right now. He's playing Mundo Garrett. Wait, let me see his stream. Wait, I'm gonna check. Is he playing? I just wanna see how he plays. Second cooldown. Sorry, let me turn the shit off. His ears like a 25 second cooldown, and he needs to E me twice because the first one just gets blocked by my passive. So I feel really good in this matchup. By the way, this song is such an amazing song. Somebody the other day said I like listening to divorced dad music. I was like, yeah, not wrong, I guess. But this song is still a banger. Alright, this Darius is playing Ghost Ignite, Conqueror Resolve, so uh, no flash, that's beneficial for me. But an extremely aggressive setup here. I'm extremely good into enemy draft. Not much percentage health damage at all. What is divorce that music? Breaking Benjamin music. No discounts and Nellis win the Euros. <laughs> ah! Ah! Sorry. Harry Retard. Harry. I gotta recall. Cocaine Rengar. I'm really scared of starting blue buff here, man. This is such a bad call. It's a good song, right? Next to nothing. I are a rush to prime, brother. Today we are gonna do a coaching in the top lane. Was that Kindred there? I saw something. Please don't be here. I would be dead. He could be here. I gotta just send an experience. Call your mom real quick. What's for dinner? Check the watch. Okay.
That should land. Oh, good, guys. I need to get pushed in. So I'm not going to be forced to walk up for last hits. <clears throat> it sucks I don't have a ward. I'm going to make sure I queue the latest frames to so make sure they're still pushed into me. Yeah, that doesn't even work, but yeah, I have passive. There's Q auto E there, and your auto attack animation is cancelled by your E, so that's why the animation looks a little wonky there. Well, I still have passive, so that's massive. Um, uh, kind of griefing, get it? I'm dead. I think if he goes and ignites, what am I doing? Why am I even trading? Like, what am I actually doing? Okay, guys, six hours in, I'm griefing now. Uh, he can dive me here. He's gonna be level 4. I'm just gonna be measly level 3. I have no potion. I'm dead mead. I'm a pig. I mean, he doesn't have flesh at least, so... Oh. I hate myself so much. Shit, bro, man! Oh, I'm the luckiest person in the planet Earth. Not too shabby. Somehow the means also blocked the means from entering. To okay, sorry. Well, that was disgustingly lucky in like more than one language, so that's pretty true. You know what? Eat that, Enrico. Not too shabby. Uh, not too shabby. Wait, by the way, Giant's Belt is like one of the few items that is actually gold efficient because two Ruby Crystals don't give more health than just a Giant's Belt. But for example, if you go Call Fields... I didn't expect him to be there already. He's dead. That's good. Basically, three long swords are 30 AD. You're dead now. Dish. He died on my turn. Game is over. He's losing this full wave. He's gonna lose a plate. I shouldn't hit it yet. I need to wait till five minutes so the passive goes away. And, uh, oh, hello, Kendrick. You mind if I, like, give this a little gentle tap? I want to play it and cancel this guy's booze. <laughs> nah, don't get my own reset either, but worth. I'm a problem. Das is time problem. I should have just recalled and let the wave push back into me, man. I'm such a griefer. <laughs> okay, I respect it. Sure. He has E again. If he E's me, I'm dead. Wait, I have my passive, what? Whoa. Where are you? Bobistu! Dariusus! What's going on in this game even, man? And how's my team? Oh, what? What? No! Easy, I guess. <clears throat> Do 
Just got perma bent on my seventh account. Wow! Congratulations, bro. You're that cool. How do I have three kills this early? Oh, he's tier two boots rushed. Okay, 700 gold and I'm full built and he only has this. All right, Juice Man TTV, let's go, bro. A Juice Man TV. Bish. Five percent movement speed. Such a disgusting broken stat. For real, for real. This this game is just so brain dead. I'm just sitting back in my chair, guys. I'm like my voice is run out of the uh, energy after six hours repeating the same thing of how to fundamentally play Mundos, and I would just sit back, vibe. You guys know the drill: get warm mugs, eat this guy's head. Are we vibing with the uh, breaking Benjamin? By the way, one in chat. If yes, two in chat. If no, I don't bet anybody that said two. I can't eat one plate huh, for my item, but I shouldn't greet for it. Okay, I can. He's walking out. No. Army retired! If anybody flames my wallop, I'm permabanning you. Dish. OMG, I've been here a while. Yo, Derpa Bola. Good to see you. Thank you for the T1, brother. Can we get Malvet music? No. I've listened to that one too much, brother. I just can't listen to it anymore. I don't miss. Vanguard. Get me out of the game. I can't miss. I missed. Okay, we're chilling. Vanguard, get me out of this game already, man. The guy doesn't stand a chance. Tier 2 boots, with his boots, ghost, doesn't matter, bro. I'm sharpshooter today. Yeah, I'll give you guys the playlist. It's a very old album by Breaking Benjamin called Satur- Oh. Did, did you see how I just whipped out my suitcase like this, like a baller? Here, eat this bitch. Alright, now I'm dipping. Dude, I actually never noticed the old animation when I press old, but I do like this with my suitcase. I become like Giga Chad. Okay, give me a second. I'll give you guys the playlist in a second. <clears throat> Here we go. There's some bangers. I'll play the best ones. Give me a second. This one is a banger too. It's a build-up though. It's a build-up though. This one's a banger. Oh, let's go. Why do you hold off? Because if you don't kill the plates yet, the um, demolish procs deals more damage. I mean, this game is just over again. Like, my teammates are so good every game, so it's kind of just anti fun that regard to. I'm actually getting insane teams. I mean, you're hardy, army. I'm not losing. Okay, okay, wait, I'm actually kind of getting cooked. How easy is this, though? Wait, Warmogus? Skonche? Why am I talking Dutch? Shut up! Uh, Doris, do you see my HP? 
Must suck. Must suck playing it to Mundo. Back to full HP, baby. <clears throat> Best Mundo skin? This one. Without a, without a doubt. Back to full HP, baby. Like I said, bro, all you need to do is get Oryx and GG. Oh, plates in mid lane. Don't mind if I do. Keep fighting. I'll just walk like this. Who is the best Mundo counter thanks to someone they play on a lot now? I will tell. <laughs> now it's Gwen, Kled, Fiora. Thanks to a certain someone, they play him a lot now. Oh, what are you gonna like make me feel guilty or something? Keep talking like that. I'm gonna play to Challenger. Bro, hurry, me, hurry, hurry, hurry! I can't miss a kill on you. I am so sorry. Skitsonami, ooh. Shut up, bitch. Please don't ignite me, though. All right. Ah! This guy is Borg, by the way. It's unfair. Oh, never mind. I'm Mundo. It's unfair. This guy even has Borg. Whatever. I forget gold yet again. No. Oh. How much HP is needed? 1.3k gold. If you rush Warmox, you get it instantly. But you still need your Dorans. Dorans plus Warmox, so you've got it. And so is the vibe, though, right, guys? Master trash cans? I'm already around master I'm more sure not, right? Oh, Brent's not gonna be happy when I do this. Alright, watch this. I'll watch this up play. Oh. Wow, I'm so skilled. Wow, I'm gonna make it. Wow! But I'm telling you, anybody could play Mundo. What are you do- Gijsje! Gijsje, gaat lekker! <laughs> Bro, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna translate what this guy just said. He is a weirdo. I mean, you can kind of see it. That guy's a weirdo. Translate. He says, I'm sorry, man. I have chlamydia. It's the itch. I can't control myself. Something like this. Rough translation. Weirdo. Oh, Kendra, please don't kill me. Watch this. Watch this slipper, slipper in his face by my mom. That's without building any AD, by the way. I have built full tank this game. <clears throat> Is he actually? Oh. Why did I hit the cannon, though? True. It's because my scripts are automatically going on champions. And then somehow 3k tokens again. Haisha, I'm gonna have to let you go, brother. I don't want it to spread. Alright guys, I kind of want Titanic Hydra so I can do Slipper combo. If anybody flames my wallop, I'm perma banning you. Minus one. Most perma that guy, by the way. And then the thing with Brian, though. I appreciate it. 
Look at Mundo pick rate after this game. I have been looking at it. It's going up to 7%. <laughs> this guy hates me, by the way. This guy's gonna... Oh, holy moly. This guy will not forget. Wait, that guy's unstoppable. Not as unstoppable as I am. I'm an immovable force. Alright guys, let's get it. Alright guys, let's go. We can do auto E Titanic Hydra now, which is the the, the machine gun mundo combo. Oh goodbye. Alright, Kindred, I want you to fight me like a man. What is this guy building? I actually don't know. I don't think he does. So I think we're square. Kindred, fight me. Watch this. Auto E Titanic. I missed my combo. I missed my combo. I missed this combo again. Nice! I it's auto E Titanic Hydra Alois, but I did I did something wrong. I did something wrong. I don't even know what I did wrong. My bad. Oh, what happened to my camera? Sorry. How did I die so fast? Okay, that's fine. Okay, wait, we're actually throwing. Maybe. Oh, even even the guy with is dying. Sucks for the Mundo main. Now comes the bands was a solid strong week of this. Those were small positives before they got it. I mean, have they announced any nerfs to Mundo? Yo, Nate. That is fantastic. There you go. Alright, Nate has gone to Germany. Yo, Gerbsy. Thank you, brother. A real homie would wait till minute 20, but uh, just give that shit, bro. Watch this damage. That's the combo. Auto either Terry Guy Draw. Come on, buddy, fight me. He's so fast because this shit. I had a 10k HP Mundo on my team because of you. How is it because of me? People still play Mundo because it's like without me playing him, but it's good. Spread the word. Mundo's broken. Get your elo. I'm gonna go bolt. My team can do better without me. And if people don't answer me, I end the game. I'll just end the game. Why did I go back? Because Momo Dinner is a bitch, that's why, but I died, so I'm a bitch now. I'm a, yeah, well, we can Baron. GG, well played. Well played, Lewis. Say well played, chat. Thank you. I know. Yes, the machine gun is auto eat Titanic Hydra. That's the machine gun Mundo combo. It's so dark, really, eh? Bomba. This is the only song I don't like that much. And there's also like a. A soft love song here, which is this one. This one is decent though, where is it? This one. This doesn't even sound like Breaking Benjamin, but I guess it makes songs like this too. It's very chill. It is very chill. Our song, article, you... Yes, article, our song, our song, yes, yes, yeah, precisely right. How chill is the song though?
Yes, yeah, Serena is pretty good against Mundo, brother. Well, my team just aces them, so I guess GG. Watch this. Okay, it wasn't a full one shot though. Come back to me. I want to machine gun Mundo the Kindred. Hey Kindred, your turn to die. There we go, machine gun Mundo, baby. Goodbye to turret. Still full HP, by the way. That guy was like, hmm, wait. Oh, he's still full HP. And I died to my fountain. How, so how do I play against Mundo? <laughs> uh. Fair! Fair! Oh, that's fair! Nah, that's completely fair. Nothing wrong there. Nothing wrong there. Why is my camera having AIDS? There we go. <coughs> All right, guys. I can't go longer than a six-hour stream, really, when I do full educational because I just, I just tire out. I get so tired eventually because I talk so much. I'm very, um, very energetic throughout the stream. So uh, yeah, we're uh, that, that's it for today. I had an amazing session, though. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for all your support, your presence. Thank you for the subs, donations, the bits, and uh, just your general kindness. And support, I appreciate it immensely. Um, vanilla enthusiast, go seek the Lord and go repent. And I wish you all an amazing remainder of your evening or day, whatever you are at. Um, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. I am going to continuously play Mundo until we've hit Masters MMR. And other than that, uh, you can check out my YouTube, two YouTube channels. You check out Discord if you haven't. And uh, then lastly, I have uh, two courses, one for the lighting phase, one for the middle late, and then a Riven matchup course. You can consider checking them out, and that will be all for me for today. We're going to go over and rate Mr. Spearshot, and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow.